I lost a lot. You know, one of them uh, got screwed because they should have beat Kansas. Sanford. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that they, was a block. Yeah, they should have been. But anyway, having said all of that, it doesn't really matter. Uh, my final four teams are involved, although I'm sweating out Marquette down seven at halftime. And uh, to, I, I, I don't get that. I really don't. But well, All right. Now, wait a minute. 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 You're sweating out Marquette at halftime. They're down. Uh-huh. Right? The shock is smart. Now, yesterday, you had some teams, favorites, guys that you picked, teams that you picked that were down at halftime. And you were like, I'm not worried. The cream rises to the top in the second half. You said yesterday, Joe Ryan, they go, you can't get sweaty at halftime. Well, the, the problem is it's shock of smart. Oh, here we go. Okay, so if it was anybody else, uh, I wouldn't be worried about it. But it's shock of smart because there's something about he, he needs what he needs a vaccine as he goes into the tournament. What? He needs something because he, he like gets sick and his teams get sick and they just don't perform well. He's not John Calipari, sir. Well, he's close. All right. I mean, you know, he's got a full head of hair now. <laughs> Maybe that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, that's the other thing. Here we Maybe go. Maybe that is the problem. Somebody shaved that man's head at halftime and rub his head for luck. Okay. I don't know if that will help because it's not like he was cutting down nets with a bald head. You know, I just I, always have a problem as a as a guy that is uh, losing it in the back a little bit with my Manu bald spot. You're a guy that can grow a perfectly uh, good head of hair and you choose to shave it. I have issues with that. I mean, unless you're in the military, uh, you you know, if you can grow hair, grow it, because you won't always be able to do that. Well, that's yeah, it's a very good point. Not, maybe that's uh, you know, Shock is still a young dude, thinking this is what the kids are doing these yeah. days. So well, I'm going to fit Look, right you're in. A basketball coach, you don't have time to do your hair in the morning. I mean, those extra three minutes are important to you. I, I get it. I suppose. Uh, I, I, I'm with you. When you look at some of the games that that we had last night, some of the ones that we've already seen today, because, uh, like, I, I mean, in reality, my my bracket yesterday is kind of, the, uh, well, it, it's kind of how I feel about the Cowboys and free agency so far. It ain't looking good, right? But at the same time, I know that the tournament is a long way from being over, just like off from being over. You know, some of the upset picks that I was trying for last night, uh, Drake thought that they would be able to beat uh, Washington State. You know, I, I've actually had to watch Washington State a couple of times this year. They're better than what they have been, but they haven't won a tournament game in over a decade, and there's a reason why. Well, and, and so I thought Drake would be able to get that win last night. Nice little 10-7. Didn't happen. Wazoo was able to pull it out late. Uh, I, I, I What the hell happened with Texas Tech? And how did you know, Kansas – figured out how to win without their best player. Well, they got a little help from the refs. Well, yeah. Uh, there, there's that. A horrible call in that game. And that that's one of those that's been the worst thing, the worst call that I've seen on a game that I watch. Clean block, great hustle uh, by the player, and he gets called for a foul, and that pretty much ends the game. So that was too bad. And I had Samford, by the way, to uh, pull off the upset. I had Drake. You know what's funny is, is and look, I, unless you're just a basketball geek, you don't know who the hell Samford is or who plays for them or Drake and who plays for them. So I'm watching the Drake game last night, Washington State, pulling for Drake. Drake's got one player. They got one player. Yeah. And he's a hell of a player. Yeah. But that's all they've got. Well, so as you're watching that, yeah, I wish I would have kind of known that beforehand. Well, it's although, called research, my friend. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I mean, there's little write-ups on all these teams. And, again, I, you know, you go with, like, Brendan Accounting, who – Picks on um, mascots. Yeah, it was not a good day yesterday for Bulldogs. Cougars were kind of split. You know, BYU uh, losing. My wife, for whatever reason, had BYU winning the whole thing. <laughs> and, and, and and I asked her why. I don't know. Um, but right now, that was like one of three losses she had yesterday or two. Like in a couple of groups that she put her bracket in that are for money. She's like in the top five. It won't stay that way, obviously. No. But of all the teams that she had, and I was like, "Why BYU?" I don't know. Uh, I've I, talked I, to a I lot. Of, I've talked to a lot of people today that are, uh, their champions already knocked out, or one of their final four teams for sure in Kentucky. 
uh, losing that game. And you uh, mentioned was that John Arte Ochoa, yeah, Arte Ochoa? The, uh, that guy too. Yeah, yeah, he's he's one of them. Yeah, he's um, he's lost one. Although there are other people like Sam I am from Jack FM one zero two seven Jack. Man, I tell you what, that guy is bragging today because the only game he lost yesterday was Kentucky. And he wants the tournament to end right now. Can we just pull the plug? Because that's the best he's ever done on one day of the tournament. So the whole thing is over, and he's bragging. I'm like, why are you bragging, man? Now, granted, I'm salty. Uh, maybe if I had picked better yesterday, I'd be a little braggy, too. But we're a long way from being over. Well, it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's like being up in the first quarter. That's exactly right. Being up in the first half. So I'm not worried about Marquette. They'll figure Wait it out. Wait a minute. You were just sweating. Nah, minutes nah, ago. nah. Well, I got Make to think. I got mind, to, right, Angle? I got to thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what, Jason, for once you're right. I'm I, I shouldn't. Right. I shouldn't be sweating this thing. I'm going to be okay. Marquette's going to come out. The cream will rise to the top. All of my final four teams will be intact. And I'm going to be in good shape. Now, now I do have to sweat. If, if Marquette, which I be- firmly believe, they will uh, take care of business and win that game. I still got UConn. Yeah. I don't have UConn. They're not in my final four. No. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> well, you're, it's easily distractible on this Friday because there's basketball everywhere. And it happens to be a lingerie day apparently here. At apparently Quinty. so, I think yeah. That's what they call it, lingerie Friday or something like that. But um, that just adds to the scenic views, if you will. Another reason to come out here. Now. Uh, because uh, John Sobery on our YouTube channel, and you can always comment there and subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. Don't forget to get that chicken fried steak and ketchup. See, John, we've already had lunch. Yeah. And we got chicken fried steak. Yes, we and did. And Joe Reinagle ruined a perfectly good chicken fried steak by adding ketchup. When he asked our lovely server for ketchup, the look that she gave him, the processing that was going through her mind was entertaining as hell because he might as well have been speaking a foreign language. You want ketchup for chicken fried steak? And then a look, processing. And, and then finally it arrived with French fries because no good human being would serve you just ketchup for your chicken fried steak well i ordered fried steak didn't come with them they it came, comes with mashed potatoes and green so beans like, literally says it on the menu but who wants to read that and and who does that it's like you want a chicken fried steak i want french fries uh-huh so, wait a minute, so i ordered some yeah yeah but i asked for ketchup and dumped it right there and it was delicious by the way oh. it was it was oh. awesome and if you want to see that deliciousness uh, you can go to my Twitter page, X page, whatever you call it, because I've got it posted right there. A lot of you have already commented on this, but uh, no, I will um, say uh, because I posted a picture of my chicken fried steak without ketchup, which is the right way to do it. Uh, one UTSA head football coach, Jeff Trailer, he does put ketchup on his chicken fried steak. He is with you on that. That might be one of the few things in life that Jeff Trailer agrees with you, Joe Reinagle, on. But and it happens to be that which uh, is uh, scary. Well, I mean, he's obviously a man of great taste. Frank Harris, apparently, too, according to Jeff Trailer, puts ketchup on his chicken fried steak. Now, I'm curious if Jeff Trailer has always been a chicken fried steak with ketchup guy or if his quarterback does that, he's just going to do what Frank Harris tells him to do. No, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, or do you think you think Jeff taught that to coach them up in a very poor way? Well, I think I it, it, probably Frank was raised right and you put ketchup on your chicken fried steak. Look, it's a country boy thing. That's what it is. That's you know, what that's it, it's a country now, boy thing, small town guy thing, and and that's what you do. I mean, maybe. Now Frank is a military brat. Right. And and I know like from my dad, uh when you're eating in mess halls, you're eating MREs, you add lots of condiments to a lot of different things. Lots of just what? Condiments. Oh, condiments. Okay. Just to make them. I thought taste we were better. going back to the Olympics. Uh, well, it's possible. Uh, but it might take, I mean, you know, like like my dad, pepper was on everything. I mean, and we had corn with every meal growing up. And there was so much pepper on that corn, you didn't know it was yellow, <laughs> right? Because that's, you know, and, and so I'm wondering if, you know, from a military brat perspective, if you've got a, a a poor piece of meat in something like that, then, yeah, you might need ketchup just to make it somewhat edible. But 
what you were served today did not require the ketchup. No, it doesn't. It's just a luxury for me, it's and, and it's, it's delicious. And again, the photo that you posted, I will say it was a lovely photo, good contrast in colors. My photography background coming out. Uh huh. You certainly didn't post after you had mixed the ketchup and the gravy and the chicken fried steak together because at that point, it, it looked like you might have gutted the deer on your plate and you were eating it. Well, I bet we'd get our server to bring my plate back over here and we could just show everybody I, they that. They didn't way. even wash that thing, they just threw it away. <laughs> they just looked at that and went, I don't know what happened here, and they just chunked the plate. Look, if I have to draw a picture for you folks. We don't need you to draw. Then I I, I'll do figure. that. But, I, you know, I kind of assume that some of you have some intelligence. Uh-huh. And uh, you, you understand if there's a, a dollop of ketchup next to my chicken fried steak, I'm probably going to dip the said steak in the ketchup and eat it. So, yeah. Is that what you're doing? It's exactly what I did. In yeah. fact, I had to add more ketchup. Didn't have enough. Yeah, that was not a dollop. That was not I a mean, dollop. You, you, you had. Well, and that was just the first pledge. You didn't see when he added to it. What do you, you mean? Know, a, it's not I, a dollop. I, I, well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, um, uh, it, it was more than a dollop. I mean, clearly, you don't understand what a dollop is. But, and then you, you mix it in with the gravy, and it just looks hard to eat. It, it really does. There's nothing I hard mean, about it. It's, uh, well, it's fantastic. I, I mean, it just doesn't look appetizing. Like, I, I'll give you an example. You know, back, uh, <laughs> you know, in my 20s, uh, early 20s, maybe even late teens when I was on my own, everything that I ate came from a drive through window or Chef Boyardee raviolis or like macaroni and cheese because that was about the extent of my cooking skills. And somebody said, you don't have any meat in your diet that doesn't come through a drive through So I had a brilliant idea one night in which I was not sober that I mixed a can of raviolis in with my macaroni and cheese. Oh, wow. Now, Interesting. It looked awful, uh -huh. but it tasted pretty good. So then I realized, okay, this isn't bad, but what I've got to do is fish the little raviolis out of the can, add them to the macaroni, then add the cheese so it was essentially all one color. Then it was actually pretty damn good. Dude, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, if, especially if you're drunk, who the hell wants to work that hard? You just want to eat it. Yeah, sure. I, I, yeah, that's just, that's just way too much work. Look, I, you know, you guys can eat whatever the hell you want. I really <laughs> we, don't care. We will. Uh, chicken fried steak mix. Just you either get it or you don't. And yeah, that's the way it is. I, I know you got some people on YouTube agreeing with you. Of course uh, I do. John Sobery says uh, he thinks his wife thinks there's something wrong with you. His wife. Uh, John, your wife is correct. I'm sure she is most of the time. <laughs> anyway, uh, Twitter reaction is about the same. Everybody has their own uh, ideas of what is, <coughs> I can't even say it, what is good. Yes, it is delicious. It's all you need to know. If you haven't tried it, you're a coward. Well, try I, it. I have tried it. It's crap. It's not. I, it's crap. Remember, I did try it that one time. You did, and, I, and, and you and liked I, it, I, I, and you liked the you like Dairy Queen Tacos. I've, I, I've introduced I, well, you a to minute. a whole hold on, hold on. new Dairy brand. Dairy Queen Tacos were better than I thought they were going to uh -huh. be. Uh -huh. I haven't had them since. The chicken fried steak and gravy, uh, that was one bite that will never happen again. Dude, you wanted some ketchup today so bad, and you know it. You I, did. I, I, you did. I, I, it. I had did. plenty of opportunity if I you really did. wanted that. <laughs> uh, why ruin a good, perfectly good at chicken fried steak? I don't know. The uh, tournament going on, Clemson with a 9-4 lead on New Mexico. They just hit a three. Now it's 9-7. We'll update scores as we continue. San Diego State up by 10 over UAB. Lots coming up here from Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Tyron Smith is introduced as a member of the New York Jets. And an interesting article about the Cowboys offseason from Michael Gelkin with the Dallas Morning News. We'll dive into all of that. Coming up here on the Blitz, 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is a Friday. You have your weekend plans. None of you plan on getting arrested, but some of you will. Happens to a lot of people every day for all kinds of reasons. If you get arrested, a family member gets arrested, you get a call from an employee. They want to get out of jail fast. You want to get out of jail fast. Best way to do that? Call my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text the word BAIL to 474747. 
or you can start the bonding process online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you truly understand what all those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, have a free shuttle service. They are discreet and confidential and open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas, services nationwide. So if you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, anywhere in between, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online at mybestbailbonds.com. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ensira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. The ultimate March Hoops experience is in downtown Las Vegas. Don't miss out on Mega March at Stadium Swim at Circa Resort and Casino. There's no better place to take in the action than in the six pools at Circa with their 143-foot screen. Experience the game's poolside with various seating options. No matter the size of your group, Stadium Swim is the place to be. Find all the Stadium Swim options at CircaLasVegas.com and join Jason and Joe from the Blitz for Mega March at Circa Resort and Casino. Book now at CircaLasVegas.com. Women Breaking Barriers, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Grammy Award-winning singer Mary J. Blige discusses why she created the Strength of a Woman Festival and Summit. Celebrate women the way they celebrate me because, um, so I was like, okay, well, I want to do something for them. And this is the way I'm doing it for them by celebrating them on the most important day for women, and that's Mother's Day. Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. This year, wouldn't it be great to stop dealing with thin, brittle, shedding hair and instead have the thick, healthy, gorgeous hair you've always wanted? Well, now you can by using Hair Volume from New Nordic. Hair Volume is the all-natural solution trusted by millions of women around the world to say goodbye to thin, brittle, shedding hair. Look for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens and CVS or online at Amazon.com or NewNordicUSA.com. Go to NewNordicUSA.com, Amazon, or ask for Hair Volume at your local Walgreens or CVS. If you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Try. You want plumbing? You're out. LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one -on -one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Oh, Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions. Available. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Ping G730 and I530 irons. The G730 irons are Ping's longest and most forgiving irons, while the I530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more. Visit us in store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at worldwidegolf.com. Get there. Texting privacy policy in terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Or play stop, stop, stop. Go to nomoredraftywindows.com for full offer details. Renewal by Anderson. 
Need to replace your old drafty windows? You want Renewal by Anderson. Need to lower your energy cost? You want Renewal by Anderson. Some people will trust anyone to replace their windows. Next thing you know, your windows are installed wrong. Your windows have problems. Or worse, it takes forever to get resolved. That's why you need Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson has worked with over 1 million homeowners from southern New England to Nevada, Colorado to Pennsylvania, Arizona to Texas. Renewal by Anderson is the nation's best window and door replacement solution. Just text DESIGN to 200-300 to get started. Text DESIGN to 200-300 right now and schedule your free consultation online today. Plus, text now and get $359 off every window and $887 off every door. Don't wait. Text DESIGN to 200-300 for no money down, no payments, and no interest for a full year with Renewal by Anderson. Text the word DESIGN to 200-300. Text DESIGN to 200-300. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnix out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location on this Friday. Dude, that might have been the funniest thing I've ever seen. What's that? Greg Shelton going up and asking the manager what they call Fridays at Twin Peaks and then trying to explain it to you. <laughs> well, so so here's the thing. A little behind the scenes curtain. Oh, that's funny as hell. And Greg without a microphone to defend himself, although he can just completely uh, derail this whole thing. I think Greg is a little smitten with the manager here. Think so? Any reason to go talk to her? Yeah, I don't blame him. Because Greg has asked more questions of a manager type today than I've seen him, I don't know, in the last 15 live broadcasts combined. And is there an official term for Fridays because they're all wearing lingerie? Yesterday, they were in their traditional uniforms. And we were talking about it, and Greg uh, willingly gets up out of his chair to go ask. Now, he could have asked anybody, it could but have. there is one specific manager that he has asked about all kinds of things today. I, I mean, things that, Greg, have nothing to do with the broadcast work, life in general, but, you know, is the air quality in here good? Uh, what's the temperature <laughs> of the water in at the restroom? Um, you know, you know, your beer is at 27.4. It keeps fluctuating. Why is it? I mean, just asking all kinds yeah, of questions. Yeah. Um, and, 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 look, we'll continue to send him over for more questions. In fact, if you have some legit questions for Greg Shelton to go talk to said manager. <laughs> they don't have to be legit. I, I, I mean, just, <laughs> I, I mean, I, he's making good eye contact, which is unusual for Greg. Being polite. He's very polite. Which is very unusual the for Greg. The fact that Greg has gotten up out of his chair multiple times <laughs> to go ask her questions. Oh. Uh, I, I mean, you just don't understand but what we're seeing here. It's funny as hell because you you wanted to know what the official Friday is, which is Bernard yeah, Greg's and Bruce. Out, let me go find out. I'll go find out. Yeah, I'll do I'll it. I'll take care of it. Yeah. I'll go. I'll, no, go I'll, I'll find out. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me be proactive. I'll I'll help you guys out. He's like a like a like an intern. Oh oh yeah. Help. Oh squirrel. I'll go ask regular I'll, boy scout. I'll, I'll, I'll find here. out. I, I know there's just a what? I'm just a team player. That's all it is. <laughs> now yeah. that, that's now on tape. You realize that. <laughs> all, right, all right, a couple other questions, Greg. Turn your microphone back on. Yes. What is her name? I have no idea. You haven't gotten that far yet? No. So you don't have a number yet? <laughs> <laughs> we have until 7 o'clock tonight. Yeah. That's right. We, we have until I, 7. I mean, hell, the senior citizen uh, air, uh, phone service, consumer Something consumer around. cellular. Yeah, consumer <laughs> cellular. I mean, yeah. I mean, I have, don't, to, I don't. have to. She'd have to try to figure out. I have I mean, to read I, the numbers real big. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. I mean, they, there's a possibility. I mean, hell, you might get down here. You know, if things go the way Shelton is hoping, I mean, we might have a wedding at 5:30. You, you never know. You know what? I mean, it's possible. possible. No, 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 no. It, it, that would require allowing someone into my house. <laughs> Although do a wedding. Um, I'm not sure that she has the same goo goo eyes as as Shelton has, though. You mean you think that she's had enough creepy old men talk to her? I, I think about perhaps, a variety of things. Perhaps, maybe. I, I don't know. But every time now she walks by, she gets speeds up when she comes by the table. Yeah, but I mean, um, no, I, th- I think there's a chance. You think so? I, 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 I think there's I a chance. A reminder of her kindly old grandpa. <laughs> 
I mean, some are into that. Some, I, hey, some I are. Mean, I'm just saying. Until she realizes what your 401k is, that would be the biggest turnoff here. Um, you know, a lot, lot of things are are, are, are possible. Now, see, I don't understand. We had a big axe. Oh, here we go. On our table. Well. And some server just came and took it away. Well. And, and I'm wondering why. Are we not? You, you want your toy back? I, I, so if they on the long, uh, very long tables here, they use the axe to divide it up amongst groups. And so apparently that guy doesn't want to sit next to Greg, which is understandable. So they're going to take the axe and go have him sit to an, uh, next to another perfectly good stranger so that's the only axe i see in here well if we get you another axe in fact greg is going to go find another yeah, axe you from the talk, manager go, that's go exactly ask. what he is going to do <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to come back with a name a little bit of work history and and maybe a phone number and what i'm curious of when you get the phone number what's the phone number two is it the frost bank hotline is it the is it the library is it um whatever well, you know the Frostbank hotline i'm sure you've gotten that a couple of times in your life uh, a couple, so, of, so a couple you would know that you know what that number is got to be a number that's uh you know you, you wouldn't know right off the top of your head uh ramiro says tell grumpy greg to ask her if males can be waiters there at twin peaks um <laughs> sure i don't want to speak for most but I will say this, ain't nobody in hell going to have an appetite if Greg Shelton puts on what these lovely ladies are wearing right now. Uh, I'm just saying, that would really hurt business. Dude. That, that would really hurt business. Yeah, no offense, instead, Greg. But instead of eating, everybody would be puking. I, I, well, yeah. I, 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 I think <laughs> you, you would see the major departure like, oh, what the hell's going on here? Like, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, with the exception of uh, uh, the lovely lady. Uh, miss manager we'll have to figure out her name i'm proud of you greg absolutely keep going absolutely because i've seen greg i mean like yesterday whoever he was talking to i'm like and when i say he doesn't make eye contact it's not like he's just staring at her chest right i mean like he'll look up he'll look around i like you know it's not that kind of like hey eyes up here kind of situation here very firm little laughs in there little chuckles small talk i didn't know greg shelton had that in him i didn't either it's Dude, like he's a kid again. I, I, I mean, it, it's when you break out pictures of Josie the dog, you know, that's going to be the next step. <laughs> that's your hook, that, Shelton. That, that's it. Josie the dog. Your dog would probably get you more dates than you could ever imagine. Well, that's, you know, why he spent so many weekends at the dog park. There you go. Yeah. See, she's, she's yeah. got the picture ready. I, I mean, literally, if he made that his profile picture on Facebook, he'd actually get some <laughs> weird DMs. <laughs> uh well, keep trying, Greg. You got uh, you got a few more hours. He's got till seven o'clock tonight. Yeah, he does. I mean, and, and look, when James Pledger walks in today, I was at the station earlier. I had to go by there and record some stuff. James Pledger is wearing a suit with a full-on trench coat. <laughs> now, why he's wearing a trench coat is beyond me. And I just told him, dude, when you walk in the Twin Peaks later, you've got to have that thing completely buttoned up. Well, I I don't know if it, it does he. I mean, yeah. When I think of a trench coat, I think kind Flasher. of a, a yeah. creeper, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, oh yeah. So that suit is it just from the waist up, and the trench coat covers the bottom? Well, I will say this: he was wearing pants. Oh, but, he was. But I, right. I I don't know when he goes out later if he stays fully dressed like he is at work and just has the. Uh, trench coat so he doesn't have to change later and plus he got it looks like he got a nice haircut today he shaved a little bit shaved a little bit i mean you know between shelton and pledge these women out here don't have a chance uh, uh, well at least there's two that don't have a chance <laughs> I, I think all these women can uh pick what they want oh man hey it's great out here though i will say that a lot of people out here enjoying their friday afternoon and watching some basketball and marquette as predicted by one joe reinagle now with a five-point lead second half yeah going over scores uh san diego state and uab <laughs> they are tied at 51 clemson rolling new mexico 25 to 11 yukon with an eight nothing lead over the stetson hatters and Marquette is leading 
Marquette now, or Marquette mm-hmm. leading Western Kentucky. Is it 53-50 now? 53, uh, well, 53-50, yes. Yeah, 53-50. Yes. We'll keep you updated. The Aggies play later tonight, so you want to come watch the game here with us out at Twin Peaks. You can certainly do that. The Aggie game will be on AM 1250 pregame at 515. That game will tip off right around 550. But the Andrew Monaco broadcast will start with the pregame at 515 over on ESPN AM 1250. Spurs, they've got a winnable game tonight. Wemby talked a lot yesterday about his involvement in the rebuilding process. We'll dive into that coming up here on The Blitz live uh, here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Come on out here, watch some basketball with us here at Twin Peaks, and then head over to the Big Blind because Friday nights are special at the Big Blind. In fact, they've got what they call High Hands Escalator. In fact, they do that on Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. And basically what it was, High Hand gets a bonus, right? And they do it by hour, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, extra $100 bonus. That 10 to 11, you get an extra $300 bonus. And if you hang around between 1 and 2 a.m., you can win as much as $600. Look, they are doing some great fun things out at the Big Blind. The Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio. It's an upscale environment catering to players of all abilities. You don't have to be an expert poker player to go into the Big Blind and have a lot of fun. There's tables for all abilities. It, it is so much fun. And don't worry about missing the games action. There are TVs everywhere. There's a full bar. You can get food. The food is fantastic. And look, it's from the owners of the Rue Pub and the Angry Elephant. So you know it is going to be top notch. And it is. Make sure that your weekend includes the big blind. It's right down from the Rue Pub and the Angry Elephant. You know where that is. It's right there at 281 and Redland Road. Go see him. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Monday on the Morning Huddle. It's all over but the crying. We're going to try to glue your brackets back together. Plus, the Spurs had two games at home. How did they go? And how did things look with the regular season starting to wind down? It's a ball at game day. We'll see you at 6. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride sharing cases, 18 wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Paid for by government.com. Did you hear? A recent stash of $10 Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s has been found. These gorgeous gold coins are as bright and shiny as the day they were struck in the late 1800s. And less than 50 of these gold coins are available. Coin experts are calling this gold find an incredible opportunity. Call 1-800-473-3993. And you are guaranteed a $10 Gold Liberty coin minted by the U.S. Mint in the 1800s. But with extremely limited availability, you must call now. These Gold Liberty coins from the 1800s are still in uncirculated condition. That is history you can hold in your hand. To learn more, call 1-800-473-3993. Call now and you'll receive a free American Coin Collector's Bonus Package, a $40 value, free with every order. Call 1-800-473-3993 now to secure your $10 Gold Liberty Coins dated from the 1800s before they sell out. That's 1-800-473-3993. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. 
Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Hey, good morning. You're heading the airport, right? Yeah, thanks for checking. I like the car. How long have you been a rideshare driver? About three years now. I really enjoy it. Isn't it hard to make money these days with the price of gas being so high? Not for me. I use Upside, the free app that gives you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get real money back when you get gas with the Upside app? Yep, I get real cash back every time I get gas. Does that actually add up to anything? I'll make around $200 to $300. Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the Upside app now. Download the free Upside app now to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code CAR for an extra 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank account, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code CAR for a 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code CAR. George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George, because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control rental and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob Thompson and RJ Ochoa. Monday on the Morning Huddle, did your brackets make it through the weekend? Are your ones intact? And is there a Cinderella rising through the ranks? We'll look at ours and look at yours. We'll also talk Dallas Cowboys. Did they do anything at all? And in the Spurs, are they still the worst team in franchise history? Now back to the Blitz. Tell me, boys, how are those scenic views? I need Marquette. You know, Rob, those scenic views are exceptional today because on uh, Friday, as Greg Shelton learned from the manager whose name is Vanessa, who did replace our acts, um, that uh, yeah, on Fridays it, it's called uh, Bourbon and Brews and everybody wears lingerie. Now, so I don't Bourbon know and Brews. Bourbon and Brews ends up in lingerie, but uh, whatever it takes. Well, Bourbon and Brews typically ends up in lingerie. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Does it? Oh, well, of course. All right. Sure. Sure. Or nothing. Well, I was going to say, it's it's great floor decoration at that point, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, they've got some great whiskey here. Yeah. When we left the Days of Alla location last all night. All the Blantons there. All the Blantons yeah. over there. And they've got cases full of that stuff here today. Exactly. Too. So come on out and join us, man. It's a lot of fun out here. Absolutely. Basketball. I, I tell you what, I at New Mexico. A hell of a game and upset Clemson. Clemson rolling at New Mexico right now, 32-15. UConn up uh, 16-4 over Stetson. As I look around at all the TVs here, UAB and San Diego State, 58-55. UAB is on top, and they've rallied to come back to do that. But, uh, yes, it's it's a great place to uh, come out and watch uh, watch whoever your favorite team is. And, of course, the Aggies play. Uh, about 5.15 this afternoon, so well, that'll be pre- on the TVs, too. Yeah, pregame show at 5.15. They'll tip closer to 6. At so, okay, 5.50 gotcha, is gotcha. tip-off time. Of course, that will float depending on what time the uh, early game ends, although I think the biggest upset that we've seen so far in the making, 16 seeded grumpy-ass Greg Shelton getting the name, Vanessa. 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 For those of you keeping score Way at to home, go, Greg. you know, if you want to move in the brackets, I mean, you know, it's still a long shot. But you're saying there's a chance. So there is you're, a chance. You're saying we, there's a chance. I we, mean, we got you know, a name. in essence, you know, Vanessa would be UConn, and you know, Greg Shelton would be uh, the Stetson Hatters. You know, you and know, their creepy ass mascot. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Go Stetson. If you haven't seen their mascot, go look it up. He looks like a uh, weird cousin of a rowdy. They're the same, I think, aren't they? Well, with just a different half. But they could they, be twin they, they, brothers. Well, I mean, like I said, distant cousin. I mean, you could tell they're related. They both drive in white vans that are unmarked, now, as does Greg Shelton. I've got a, I've got a bone to pick with these so-called experts. Okay. That everybody said McNeese State. Oh, yeah. that they're tough. Don't work. You know, yeah, yeah. Don't sl- and they get rolled. Yeah, yeah. Everybody said the same thing about New Mexico. Yeah, I they're it. getting rolled. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who are these so-called experts? Well, I mean, you know, 
Are you the gullible one that's buying what they're selling? I mean, yes, you, know, you, you want to add intrigue to the tournament. You want reasons to watch, you know, and, and, and that's part of it. I mean, when you look at it, and, and I think we saw it yesterday with Kentucky and Oakland, when you get teams that have been together for a while that know how to play together versus young teams with a lot of great athletes, a lot of times those teams will beat the individuals. They'll out-execute. But so you, you kind of go with that. And New Mexico's had a great year, um, but they're getting rolled right now by Clemson. But that's what makes the NCAA tournament so great. And it kind of reminds me of uh, a discussion they were having this morning on First Take. Who has the best postseason? And Big Perk said the NCAA tournament. You know, Molly said, uh, obviously, the NFL playoffs. Dan Orlowski loves the baseball playoffs. Stephen A. Smith goes in with hockey, which surprised me. But, uh, you know, Stephen A. might be right. But when you look at, and I hate comparing them because they're all so different and special in their unique way. But in all the other playoffs, if your team is involved, it adds a lot more to it. I like the one and done of football. I like the one and done of the tournament. But I think what makes this special is we all root for underdogs. And and then you get mad if they're not coming through. Like, you're mad that McNeese State, uh, you know, didn't get it done yesterday. And if it wasn't for Bill Taylor, you might not have ever heard of McNeese State. No, of course I've heard of McNeese State. Haven't they been around the UTSAs and yeah, Texas yeah, States yeah, for yeah, a while? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've heard of them. But it's just every article I read previewing yeah. that was McNeese State and New Mexico. Both of those teams, uh, look out for them. They could cause panic and and just, you know, dogs and cats raining from the sky and just, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff happening. And both of them getting rolled. Yep. And, and it's just, uh, who are these so-called experts? Wow. And, and you got to figure you got to figure, and, and what you said earlier about veterans, and that's why John Calipari, by the way, is getting just roasted today by everybody. And we're going to talk more about Kentucky's head coach coming up in just a minute. But um, the, the teams that have some experience typically do well in this tournament because of that experience, even though they might not be the most talented team. And so that's what I love about it. And if you're asking me, I look, the NFL for me is, is good. Part of that is because of the one and done. Yeah. But that's why everybody loves the NCAA tournament. You better be on that day. And if you're not, you're going home. And that's the way it is. The, it, and nothing against the NBA playoffs or the NHL playoffs or even Major League Baseball. But typically, when you have a seven game series, the best team is going to win that series. Oh, it certainly. And that seems certainly true in, in baseball when you're looking at pitching, certainly in basketball. Although, here in San Antonio, we've been the victim of a one seed losing to an eight. Uh, hockey, yeah, I, the best team doesn't always win because if your goaltender gets hot at the right time, and you could ride that to a Stanley Cup and the physicality of hockey playoffs is, is just incredible. But I don't like comparing them because they're all so special and unique in, in, in their own ways. But the tournament, everybody seems to get involved. And everybody can get involved with the way it's designed with the brackets and, you know, whether you watch games, don't watch games, uh, you know, you don't follow this conference, you follow that conference. Yeah, you know, but everybody can get involved. Everybody can do a bracket and the, the engagement is there. But I, I, I hate comparing because they're all great. But football to me is, is king. Absolutely. You know, there's a reason why the Super Bowl is the most watched uh, sporting event every year in the United States. I think you could probably take the ratings of, I don't know, the NBA Finals and, uh, say, the NCAA Tournament Championship, the Final Four, and, and, and all of it will add up and maybe, maybe come close. Maybe. 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 Come close. And that's one of the other problems, although I love it because you can watch multiple games at the same time. You know, there's not one game, marquee game typically on CBS. You got a game on CBS, TNT, T uh, TBS, True TV. Um, yeah, although last night I had a good time flipping around, although Texas Tech was uh, oh. was horrible and it was boring as hell, to be honest with you, because they just couldn't do anything. Uh, and so I, I watched that Washington State Drake game and, and was very entertained by it. That was a good game, although I had Drake. My uh, I did Washington too. State wife was not happy that I picked against her Cougars, but. Yeah, well, she was laughing last, wasn't well, she? Well, yeah, she she was. Yeah. But then again, she picked BYU to win the whole thing. So <laughs> what the hell does she know? Because BYU, uh, 
is out yes. for sure. We are out as well. We are at Twin Peaks, the live Oak location. Come hang out with us, watch some basketball. Not only do you have the tournament today, the Spurs have a winnable game tonight. And Wemby yesterday talked about how important it is to win down the stretch here as their season is coming to an end. Obviously, no playoffs, but Wemby does not want to set and be a part of the team that sets the franchise record for suckage. He wants to make sure they get some wins down the stretch. So we'll see how that factors in with what they do. And then the rebuild begins. And one of the things that he did say yesterday, you know, kind of last week in Austin in the French portion of his media sessions, he talked about being involved in the rebuild process. Yesterday, he was asked to kind of explain that a little bit in, in English and the plan that the uh, future for the Spurs is and what his involvement will be. It's a lot of communication with the, the coaches and the, the front office, of course, to know, uh, I mean, where we're comfortable with each other in the game and uh, when where we're not comfortable to, to know what kind of pieces we would need to add. So this is it's, it's a lot of lot of discussion to because at the end of the day, we, I mean, the, the GM, the front office there, they know their job. They can do almost anything with what we got today. But it's uh, a matter of how well they, they understand us, the players and the coaches about where we, you know, where we want to go <clears throat> and how we want to develop. He should be involved. Well, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but, I mean, he should be involved. He is the franchise uh, for the San Antonio yeah. Spurs for at, at least the foreseeable future. And uh, they need to know what he thinks about who he will play well with, what he meshes with, and and the types of players that he wants to be on this basketball team. So the Spurs management, and they're not. They're listening to him. I guarantee you they'd be foolish not to. So it's going to be interesting to see that the offseason. I'm really looking forward to the offseason uh, for the Spurs to see what kind of additions, subtractions, and all the rest that they make uh, to try and make this team better moving forward as we head into next year. You know, his input, I think, will be valued. I don't know if he'll make decisions. I, do, I, I wonder, though, because I'm sure during the championship years that Pop consulted with Tim Duncan. Sure. But how much, uh, you know, more so than what do you think of this guy? What do you think of that guy? But the Spurs were never looking to add – valuable main pieces while Tim Duncan was there. It was, you know, Tim, Tony, Manu, Bruce was a part of that for a long time, you know, Matt Bonner, you know, but when you, you know, and I don't know, Pop has changed so much dealing with young kids, and I don't know how Wemby, you know, obviously he knows to every up in France, it's not like he played with this guy on his AAU team or, you know, like so many of these other young stars, they were at these different camps because Wemby wasn't a part of that. So I wonder what the relationship is that Wemby has with some of the other stars. Do they get together for pickup games or in, in, in different things? Clearly he's met a lot of people since he's been in the United States. When he travels around, you know, he attracts stars. He gets to go do a lot of stuff that probably a lot of rookies don't. But I wonder how much the Spurs have to factor that in when Wemby says, yeah, I like I like so-and-so, but that's on film, as they try to put together the right pieces around Wemby. You know, I, I look at Wemby talking to Pop and Brian Wright and those guys more in a sense of, look, this is the style of player that I like. This is the kind of player that I like to – to uh, to play with that I think will help me in my game and and help uh, I don't know say a Devin Vassell or you know whatever the case may be but I think it's more of a style than a specific player that Wimby might be pointing out uh, and I think that's the advice and 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 you're right and and Wimby's not going to make a decision one but he can suggest the things because he's playing what is his style Pop has had a good you know view obviously to see that style see him progress, and what fits around him. And I think that's more so than uh, just particular players that he sees or says, yeah, I want that guy or this guy or whatever. It's more of a style, I think, for Wimby at this point. In time. Although if he says, go get me, you know, Joe Smith, you wonder if they'll, they'll go find 
if there's a way to get them, get Joe well, Smith. Well, they might kick the tires on him, right? I, I, I mean, see if it's if it's available. Well, and, and some of that, while you and I are both old school and kind of roll our eyes at the idea of this, but it was like listening to Micah Parsons talk about, well, at the Super Bowl, I was in Jerry's suite telling him, what I need, or Jerry was asking me, and I told him what I needed. It's like, dude, you got to stay in your lane. But if you're in management with star players today, they want to have that input. And I, I think if they're feeling like they're involved with the decision-making process, they're a little bit more bought in. Uh, it, it, it is a different world, uh, especially when it comes to, I don't know, some of the foreign players. And now there are some talent in France that the Spurs have obviously already scouted, right? Now, that is where Wemby could certainly help. Those guys over there in France, and Wemby certainly doesn't mind helping in the scouting department. I mean, uh, as much as as much as much my role as a, as a leader and as a player for the future is important, so I, I, stay, on my, I stay on my side, but it's, you know, I'm sure also about the draft, they're going to ask me questions about the French, the French pr- prospects we got right now coming up. So it's, uh, you know, as, as before everybody does their job, but I'm ready to to be involved and to collaborate and give and help in any way I can help. And, and that's exactly where he fits in. Yeah, that guy is legit or that guy's not or whatever he's going to say to them. But and I know R.C. Buford was in France scouting a player too over there uh, not too long ago. So, um, look, uh, the Spurs, at, beyond all the other teams, are not afraid to go overseas and find those players. They've obviously done it. And they've been successful doing it. So, but yeah, I think Wimby's input at this point in time is valuable. And I just wonder, going back to Micah Parsons, you think he told Jerry not to do anything? Just let everybody go and we'll be fine. Me, CD, and Dak can handle it. Yeah, I, we don't need He must teammates. have because Jerry's taking his advice. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Micah, sign your deal. Uh, that would be step one. Uh, CD, sign your deal. Uh-huh. Um, you got to be offered first. I, I, they're probably offered. They're Ooh, just low balls. I right? don't know. I mean, that's that's how Jerry starts, you know. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, what are we, two weeks into free agency, and uh-huh. we've signed one guy. One guy. That's it. But it's the, like, out from outside the organization. Yeah, but it, it's like your bracket, you know. We got a long way to go before this tournament is over. So if your bracket's got a lot of red on it right now, it's all right. Kind of like the Cowboys. They got a lot of holes to fill. But that's all right. There's a long way to go. In free agency. Yeah. Might yeah. not look good right now, but uh-huh. I mean, yeah, I, I and again, this front office, this front office has put together some pretty damn good rosters the last several years. Last year's draft, not so great. And uh, the way things are going right now, they've got to nail this year's draft. And I don't know how confident many are that Woo. they're gonna be able to do that. Especially when they're back at Michigan again. Oh, the hell? Good lord, we'll dive into that coming up here on the Blitz. 94-1 at San Antonio Sports. Come hang out with us on this Friday afternoon. We are at Twin Peaks, the live Oak location, until 7 o'clock tonight. So come hang out with us here. It's Friday. What the hell? I'm watching food go by. That's yeah, fantastic. Good-looking food, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. If you're a business owner, a manager, a club leader, and you need your logo on any kind of gear, get into Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. If you need caps done, Sam has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. If you need t-shirts screen printed, go see Sam. If you need uniforms, he has over 700 uniform lines to choose from, all kinds of industries. If you just need your logo on a nice golf shirt, dress shirt, Fishing shirt, any kind of shirt bag you need to put it on, anything, Sam will do it for you. Nobody has better prices. Sammy has all the big name brands. Uh, no order too small, no order too big. You need one item done, you need 20,000 items done, anywhere in between. Call Sammy's Embroidery and Printing. 210-824-3900. 824-3900. Or better yet, go by that massive showroom on San Pedro. It's one mile inside Loop 410. Next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, for Sammy's Embroidery Club. You're riding with a blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com.
Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-230-2777. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems. And if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-230-2777. That's 800-230-2777. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-230-2777. 800-230-2777. Texting enrolls you in recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent are required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenix Total T. I've heard about Nugenix. That really works. Since I started taking Nugenix, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text HATCH to 42. 424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text H A T C H to 42424. That's Hatch to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hello, I'm David Figueroa, co founder of Melinda's. We make 32 Kraft pepper sauces that are thicker, hotter, and better. We use fresh, plant-based ingredients that you can see and taste. One try and you'll fall in love with Melinda's. Melinda's also makes spicy ketchups using real sugar and no high-fructose corn syrup. Yuck. Go to Melinda's.com to find our line of Kraft condiments at Walmart and other fine retailers. And right now, get 20% off our award-winning sauces with code SPORTS at Melinda's.com. That's M-E-L-I-N-D-A-S.com. It's one thing falling in love with a house picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dnpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Run and Desi Martinez Promotions. San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. The NFL is on 94-1. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy has been a traveling man as of late. He is in Michigan today checking out some Wolverines. And well, he's already been to Alabama and to Notre Dame. Houston Texans had a couple of players in today. Edrin Cooper from AM, the linebacker. And defensive lineman Mohamed Kamara out of Colorado State. They were in for visits. NCAA tournament underway here at Twin Peaks. Aggies play 515. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. Byersbarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. 
Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Menix. We're out at Twin Peaks, the live Oak location on this Friday. A couple of upsets already. San Diego State in a hell of a game. Just knocked off UAB. Yeah, that's not an upset, though. I mean, they're a five seed. I UAB had, be a 12 seed. I had I, San Diego State, by the way. I had UAB. Of course you did. Well, I mean, look, uh, you know, I, I, I fell into the 12-5 trap. You did. That's too bad. Well, uh, yeah, I had that one. Clemson, New Mexico's trying to come back. Uh, they've been down big. They're only down 10 now as we head towards uh, – Getting close to halftime there. Marquette, as predicted by one Joe Reinagle, pulled away. Uh, had no problem with Western Kentucky. You were sweaty an hour no, ago. No, 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 no. I just, I just want to make you feel better. Oh, right. all. Is that, that what it that's is? That's all it Dude, is. Dude, you were sweating, man, like no. you had 100 bucks on that thing. No problem. Then, of course, UConn is just killing the Hatters of Stetson. Bless you. <laughs> so, the idea... <laughs> <laughs> that UConn could win every game by double digits. Uh huh. Now, granted, the 16 seed Stetson Hatters. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, but the way UConn looks right now, those that have UConn in your championship game, you're feeling really cocky right now. It's one game. I, I, I'm just saying. One if, game. If, if you're a UConn type or you have UConn winning at all, you're feeling awful cocky right now because they just look incredible. Like, there should be a mercy rule. In, in in college basketball for games like this. And, and let me just tell you this. If you do have UConn winning the whole thing, you're a coward. Coward. You have no stones. No no stones. No stones. Because no. that's like, oh, UConn, yeah, of course. I'm well, going to take them. Ah, they're the number one, number one seed. So we'll take UConn. You have no stones. So you're None. a coward if, if you fill out a bracket and you think UConn's the best team like yes. everybody else does. You're Have a, some you're, stones and pick an upset. Oh, okay. Now, I did that. So because I've got two, three seeds playing in the championship. But if you were to pick UConn, then what would you say? Well, I wouldn't say anything. It's wow. one game, and they're playing the Hatters, for goodness sake. It's 46 to 10. It's the Hatters. It's 46 to 10. That's like UConn playing you, me, Rob Thompson, RJ, Ochoa, and Pledge. I, I, Same I, thing. Oh, they got 13. Uh, all right, I, I think I think what you just described could get 13 <laughs> against anybody. I, just, I mean, Pledge can hit from way downtown. I got Rob Thompson in the post. Uh, Rob Thompson, I don't know, with the, some of the size of those UConn dudes, even Rob Thompson might look a little I, short. I, dude, Rob's good for five fouls. We're, 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 we're in good <laughs> yeah, shape. Nice, nice. Right? A rebound would come to him. I'm not expecting him to chase anything down, but that's what RJ Ochoa would be for. You think RJ could chase anybody down? No. Of the five of us, I think I would go, well, Pledge would just foul out quickly. He'd be that annoying little scrappy kid. And, and, and then RJ would uh, argue with every call that went against them, even though they would be correct. But those two would be the ones chasing things yeah. down. If, <laughs> if a rebound were to come off the rim and go straight to you, you would get one. Same with me. Um, although probably off the floor because it would have to pass through a lot of tall people to get to me. Yes, it sure would. My, my shot's right there at the elbow. I'm money from the elbow. Money. Money. From the elbow. Money from the elbow. Contested? That's, that's my shot. Contested? Well, sure. I mean, UConn wouldn't be allowed to play any defense with it against <laughs> no, they'd us. have to sit and, back. And they would still be up 46 <laughs> to 13. Uh, we wouldn't have 13, my friend. And so we'll give the Hatters credit for that. But, yeah, I don't think we'd have 13. By the way, I just want to say to everybody that's watching on YouTube right now, uh, normally we have uh, an addition to that YouTube group. Okay. Her name is Alexandra. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Alexandra's not on YouTube today. You know why? She's because here. she's out here at Twin Peaks with us. Yep. It was great to meet her, and she gave us a nice little badge that uh, says howdy. 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 Yeah, 2023, uh, KBTX.com. That's the uh, radio station in College Station. In College Station. Absolutely. So there you go. So it was great to meet Alexander. She's out of here. If you can meet Alexander yourself, if you come out of here to the Twin Peaks at Live Oak. Well, and that's the beauty of when we go out. It, you know, we like to meet people that, that interact with the show a lot, and um, that, that's what we do out here. So, yeah, come, 
Come hang out. Twin Come Pinks, hang out. Live Oak. Let's do the uh, headline blitz. All right. This is Jason and Joe's Headline Blitz. Two guys, two opinions, never enough time. When you think about the NCAA tournament, especially games on Thursday, if you played on Thursday, you know, whether you go or not, there are classes at a lot of these universities on Friday. Uh, Duquesne, a Duquesne professor has canceled classes today after after they won last night because well, he knew nobody was coming to class. Everybody was getting drunk, including him, apparently. Not only did he cancel classes today, he canceled it yesterday because apparently his class was like an hour after Duquesne won the game. So he sent out a mass email to all his students and said, Just don't worry about it, go celebrate. Nice. So I gave him the weekend. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. Well, he probably didn't. Nobody was going to show up anyway. So you might as well cancel the class. Uh, you Would know, you have shown up for school? Uh, uh, I didn't go to class whether there was an NCAA tournament <laughs> win or not, exactly. which is why I only have a uh, uh, a year and a half of college under my belt. I wouldn't have gone, and I bet at least half of those students wouldn't have gone. So he did the right thing. Now, he's being held as a hero, and I get it. And I got a lot of respect for him, but he's not stupid. Right after Duquesne pulls off the upset, and nobody's showing up to class. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I give the uh, professor credit for doing it, but who's in charge of the university? Is it president, chancellor, whatever yeah, the terminology yeah, is? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that dude should get fired because that dude shouldn't have let it up, left it up to the professor. That dude, whoever's in charge of the university – should have just said, you know what? Everybody's off of work. Go celebrate. Yeah. Right. Every, in fact, you're in a tournament game. Like, I know I, I don't say this as a joke, but when when UTSA's new basketball coach gets things turned around over at UTSA, it's not going to be up to some professor at UTSA when the Roadrunners are finally in the tournament. I would think that 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 President Amy would say, "We got a tournament game." Nobody's coming to work today. Have a good time and take tomorrow off, too. No classes, no work. Just go celebrate. That's what should happen. This professor, absolutely. But in it up to the university, especially if you're Duquesne. You know, if you're UConn, you expect to win. You've got to go to class, right? right? The Princeton types, they're going to school regardless. What do you mean you're canceling class? But, <laughs> you know, Duquesne, I, the, the president of that university should have had the forethought of saying, you know what? We're canceling everything. Yeah, well, I, I can't argue with that. He should have. It, even if they have lost, you got to. Who wants to show up after a loss? You're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. And you know what that will do? Even for those that don't give a damn about the basketball program or athletics, you know those engineering student types. Uh huh. They would then celebrate the basketball team. Of course, because they had the day off. <laughs> Right? You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel you. Uh, NFL news. The NFL apparently has no plans to even discuss a ban on the Tush Push. They're celebrating in Philadelphia right now. Well, are they? I think the Tush Push is about to go away. Why? Because Jason Kelsey retired. I mean, and, and I say this in all honesty. There's not another team there in, in the NFL that has been able to run the Tush Push to any kind of success like the Eagles have. And while uh, Jalen Hurts gets a lot of credit because that dude can squat 600 pounds, I think it all started with Jason Kelsey and his abilities to snap the ball and get as low as he possibly can. With him leaving, I think the tush push might go away too. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. But, you know, you're, you make a great point because Jason Kelsey, I don't think, gets enough credit for how good of a player he was a Hall of Famer. Uh, yeah, no doubt. And and how much they're going to miss him. I think that's going to be a huge blow to that Philadelphia Eagles football team losing him. And and boy, you talk about the Cowboys need to find a center, but certainly not a a replacement in the uh, echelon of a of a Jason Kelsey. But man, that's that's going to hurt Philly. I think a lot more than people think. And I think their number one play might not be as successful. Now, if I'm proven wrong on that, so be it. If and then uh, then you go back and you give all that credit to Jalen Hurts, but the fact that nobody else can run it, it at college level, I've seen you know last year some high school teams trying to run it. Nobody does it like the Eagles, and I think a big part of that is Jason Kelsey. That's so no doubt. I, I do think the idea. 
uh, of Philadelphia having the same success with somebody else. To me, we'll, we'll see. So no reason to outlaw it because I think it's one of those plays that will just kind of outlaw itself. Going to be interesting to see. I think they'll still try it. But I'm, I'm, props to the NFL, though, for not even taking that up. You know, if, if people want to run the tush push, let them push the tush. I mean, let's go. <laughs> Did that sound better in your head? It, I, I thought it was good. I was surprised I, mean, I actually the, got the, it out, the, the, to be the, honest the, with well, you. There's jokes there, too. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that, that probably sounded better when you were thinking about it than when you actually said it. Well, I, I thought it sounded great. I don't know what you're talking about. I will rewind the tape. I thought it was but, fantastic. You know, when we go watch the film later, you might think differently. <laughs> um, speaking of watching film and thinking differently, you know, idiot criminals are idiot criminals. A Kansas City man has been charged with stealing $46,000 worth of Miami Dolphins equipment. So you remember that cold is a uh, game that they played that yeah, playoff yeah. game? Well, some guy during the game, when it was none degrees outside, decided he was going to steal some stuff from the Miami Dolphins, stole all kinds of video equipment, some cold weather gear, all kinds of stuff. He's at the stadium. You know what they have all over the place at stadiums? Uh, Cameras? Yeah, they got cameras. So... When Miami realized they were missing stuff, you know, they called the cops. It's typically what happens. Cops went, here's the surveillance video. Look, here's the guy. Here's his truck. Here's his license plate. Here's his address. Search warrant. And they went and they found all the stuff. And I will say, while this guy clearly isn't brilliant because he didn't try to disguise himself too much or, I don't know, tape up his license plate or steal a car or all the different things you see on the cop shows when, you know, they get a license plate. Oh, that was stolen eight days ago or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, he, he used his own truck and went to his own house, right? So it was pretty easy detective work for the Kansas City Police. But they get there and they find half this stuff burned up. So uh, the thought process and the reporting, according to the cops, is he must have realized, you know, there's nothing I can do with this stuff because... I, I, I guess I can't sell these shoulder pads, and I guess I can't sell all these gloves and video equipment. I, I don't know. So he tried to burn it. I guess so he stole it all and then realized I can't do anything with it. So he destroyed the evidence by trying to burn it up, and, but they found all the remnants and enough of things that didn't quite burn because it's none degrees outside, apparently hard to set a fire. Or he's not a smart enough criminal to properly burn everything is there an idiot hall of fame uh, I, I, if there I, I, is this guy ought to be the king i want well, to be a statue of this I, dude I, I, right out front the, of the door idiot of the year I, I mean he's in the running he's certainly in the running but there's a lot of stupid yeah. people oh. on this planet but yes i mean he's right up there in these stupid criminals Th this dude is uh, a complete I, moron and i i would imagine the detective that solved this case probably gets an award I mean, award I, I, for I, mean what? I don't know. Maybe he gets a barbecue plate at Joe's Kansas City. I mean, there's <laughs> solid detective work. Dude. I mean, maybe, maybe they give him tickets to uh, to a Chiefs game. I, I'm this criminally breadcrumbs to his house. I mean, I mean, I could have solved that crime. Like I said, there's a lot of idiots <laughs> on this planet. Yeah, crime and uh, been a hero and gotten a barbecue plate at Joe's. Uh, but that's what the cop did. I mean, he did his job. Yeah. He did his job well. The only thing that I'm reading all this that didn't make a whole lot of sense, they got the search warrant, then it took them four days to go execute the search warrant. Oh, really? That's what it said in the Kansas City paper. Wow. All so, right. I don't know. They get it on a Friday and say, well, we'll do this uh, Monday's a holiday. So, we'll go Tuesday. I, yeah. I, I mean, I, the guy's I, not going anywhere. Well, I mean, I mean, obviously, I, he's, he's an idiot. I uh Obviously, obviously. I, I mean, it, it, it's it's just just bizarre. Um, <laughs> if you're going to be a criminal, don't be dumb. Yeah, well, you probably are dumb anyway. It's just they're smarter dumb than dumb or dumb. Eh? Never mind. <laughs> just, Again, that sounded good in your head. Well, you know what I'm saying. I mean, no, there, there's I really some, some some criminals are are smarter than. Others. There's a lot of smart criminals out there that are smart until they get caught. Kind of like those that are running illegal sports books, like the one that's got in the news involving Shohei Otani. We'll go over the latest on that coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Parker's new vision. Want to talk about them? I talk about them all the time because I'm just thrilled with what they've been able to do for me and my wife, Maggie. Had lens replacement surgery. Man, it's almost been a year. 
since I had my lens replacement surgery, and it's been fantastic. My eyesight is better than it was 30 years ago. So good, in fact, that my wife wanted to get her eyes done. She did, and she's got the same results. We're just loving life. No more glasses, no more readers, none of that stuff. I can read menus, newspapers, magazines, everything clear as day. It is fantastic, and it's just freedom like you wouldn't believe. Look, they can do the same thing for you. The first step, though, you got to give them a call, 210-585-2020. You can also check them out online at sanantoniolasic.com. They offer a variety of services there, but the first thing you do when you call them, set up a consultation. You go in, tell them I sent you. Well, you Joe Ryan Eagle from The Blitz, and then ask all your questions. They'll explain everything that they're going to do And so you'll know in advance and feel good about it. Look, let them do for you what they've done for my family. Parkhurst New Vision. They're the best. 210-585-2020. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ansira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 941 San Antonio Sports Star. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Somebody's knocking the door. I walk over and there's Toby Keith. I'm like, hey, Toby Keith. He's like, hey, is uh, Rick James in here? I'm like, yeah. He does like to smoke the weed. Yes, he does. Yes. We are having some celebrities, Rick James and Dan Haggerty and Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Grizzly Adams. Sock. <laughs> <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. Every Saturday morning. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show. Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon. Right here on San Antonio Sports Star. For more than half a century, contractors and trade professionals have relied on WeatherGuard for heavy-duty truck and van storage equipment, not just to protect their valuable tools, but to protect their professional reputations. For pros, the WeatherGuard badge makes a statement about what drives them. It says, bring it on, been there, done that, we've got your back, without saying a word. And the folks at WeatherGuard, they're just as driven as the hardworking pros they serve. See what it means to be driven at WeatherGuard.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years. The leader in personal injury law. Jose, what you do? We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. 
Jason Minix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em, is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the pick em game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your pick em entry. And all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single night night endless projections to choose from create your own experience so download the underdog fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up with my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 dollars. plus you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jay Semenix. We are out at Twin Peaks, the Howdy. Live Oak location. Yeah, get on out here. What a gorgeous day, man. Absolutely beautiful day. Perfect day to come in here and watch a little basketball. They've got uh, they got outdoor seating as well. So out on their patio, it's a nice place. I've never been here before. I've been to all the other Twin Peaks, but not this one. And, yeah. and uh, glad we came over here because this, uh, this is a good one. First location that uh, – uh, first time I've been at this location. I believe they're newest here in uh, San Antonio. And, you know, it just feels like, you know – they keep adding to different areas. And you mentioned the outdoor bar, the patio yeah. area. And it's a great day for it. I know yesterday the weather, you know, the, the crazy rain that we had. And, and and this morning when I got up, you know, it was apparently trash day. And, and so <laughs> it was kind of cold. And I thought, wow, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a little warmer. That's why I went with long sleeves today. Um, and uh, as uh, Pledge writes, they're car washing weather. Dude, my car needs washing. Mine uh, does too. Uh, that'll be tomorrow. That'll be on. To, you know, I got I got all kinds of things going on tomorrow. Now my yard work is getting done as we speak, so that's out. You know, I, I'm taking care of the yard. Well, you're obviously here, so you're not doing it. No, but my cameras keep going off. I, I think Robert's. You know, I, I'm basically done with it. So my yard looks good for the weekend, so that chore is off the list. That's good. Um, I'm glad you didn't well, sweat too much over that. Supposed to get that. done yesterday. And, by the way, I got a lot done today. We were redoing flower beds and mulch. And yeah. Well, you know, it's funny and, you say that. Yeah. Because I did that, too. Yeah. The house looks great. You got mulch all in the in the flower beds. Yeah. And yeah well, move was, some rose bushes from one location to the I, other. I'm working my ass off Dude, today it's getting, unbelievable. getting that done. You know, our wives are lucky as hell. You aren't lying. I'm and, telling and, you. And, again, I'm sure I'll get a bill. But that's fine. I mean, that's that's. But then I'm I'm, I'm waiting to to get the notice on when the new fridge gets delivered tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Now, do they give you that? Like, well, it could well, be delivered between twelve and seven. Well, right now, it's, I, like, I, it's between seven and seven. It's a twelve-hour window. Seven and seven. Well, and then they say on Friday they will call you and give you a two-hour window. Uh huh. How that? And, and then the lady that's <laughs> buying my fridge keeps reaching out. Well, when can I come get the fridge? Because, uh, you know, the, the broken one's going to become a beautiful garage fridge for her. Uh huh. And, and I'm like, well, I, I don't know. You're like, well, hey, you know, and this is the limit. She just asked, well, can I just come get it in the morning so it's out of the way when the new one gets there? I'm like, well, yeah, sure, that sounds good. But what happens if if, if there's a, an issue with the delivery? Well, you've got and, ice chests. And the, and the old fridge is gone. You right? got ice chest? Yeah. Move your beer. How old put the, it, uh, put move, the, move my beer. Move your beer and put the groceries in that in your beer fridge. Uh, the beer fridge has its job. Yeah, well, sure. And, 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 you know. Dude, how many ice chests do you have? Well, I call them coolers because I'm not 80. Well, but, who gives a damn? Um, Everybody calls them ice chests. I, I have. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, uh, Four. See, and I, I, I've got, I've yeah. got four in the garage. See, I've got three, and then one just for brisket. Well, so yeah, I've got a meat cooler outside. Yeah, so I don't use that one for anything. You don't other want your than, beer to smell like no, meat. I don't. I really don't. So, but I've got some others, and so you could put all your beer into those ice chests, put some ice on them, 
and it'll be just fine. Stick your groceries in the deal. Let the let the person come get your refrigerator. I mean, come on. Because here's what's going to happen. Here we go. Here's what's going to happen. Here we go. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. They're going to wake you up. Well, refrigerator's I here. That, well, I, I mean, and then what the hell are you going to do? Well, I mean, kind of what we had planned on doing, and I, and I say we, like I have any control over this decision-making process because, you know, I said to my wife last night, when are we cleaning out the fridge, thinking that, you know, that's really when are you going to clean out the fridge because it's Friday. Yeah. So are, are, are we? do we have plans tonight? And her idea was, well, when they get here, we, we'll move it, and then I'll just take everything out of one fridge and I'll put it into the other. Yeah, that that's her idea of cleaning out the fridge, and uh-huh. then and then the the lady that's buying the fridge can come and get get the other one, because I don't think my wife wants to go through taking everything out, putting it in the beer fridge, or putting it in the coolers or ice chests, and, and going through that, right? So I have no idea. Well, so I don't know what to tell this lady because it's really not my call. Whatever answer I give her is going to be the wrong answer with my wife, right? I, I you, who wears the pants in your family, Jason? Joe Ryan Angle. <laughs> You know the answer to that question. <laughs> I do, except yeah. in situations like this. Because it's with it, it, when it's with something that I don't give a damn about, I, I don't care. Uh, but, I, I just know that when I say we clean out the fridge, I know that's Joanna, right? And and is it going to interfere with some Friday night plans that we don't have? But at some point, I know, you know we're not staying home. I can tell you that. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. But you're doing something. But is it before or after we clean out a fridge? And a lot of that's going to be determined on what time Best Buy tells me they're bringing the new fridge. I wish I had knew the number of those delivery people. I think I'd pay them 100 bucks just to get there at 7 a.m. I'd be fine with that. You'd be fine with that. I mean, Joanna can open the door. They'll bring it in. They'll plug it in. They'll hook it up. They'll Dude. Leave. And, and I will, I'll wake up, and uh, there'll be a new fridge. And the question would be, would I even notice that the new fridge is there? You, you've got to get up. You can't let your wife handle that. you got to shake hands with the guys and say, hey, dude, would Shake you hands here? with the guys. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you do that? Of course. You're such a liar. Of course. You're such a liar. You probably don't even get out of your chair. Are you, are you kidding me? I don't have a choice. Remember the pants thing? <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> exactly. I, I, I don't know what to tell the lady. Uh, well, I'm glad that's your problem and not mine. Yeah. I got a refrigerator that works. So on uh, our YouTube channel, <laughs> and if you're watching there, you can comment there. You can come meet a whole bunch of people from yes. the YouTube channel that have decided to meet out here at uh, Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Rudolph Rene is a real person. Uh, Rudolph Gonzalez is, is actually here. He's got a beer in front of him. Uh, he does exist. He's a real person. Uh, Alexandra is here. Uh, she is a real person, does exist. They, they are meeting here. I, I, I do wonder if Rudolph is here because Ale- he heard Alexandra was here. Um, you know, he's not stupid. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's Friday. Why not? Sure. Um, you, you know, so what we do is we bring people together. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Just like now, we're trying to Rudolph's do with Greg probably, Shelton. Now, and, Rudolph gets mad at Vanessa. a lot of things that I say. Then again, he gets mad at a lot of things that we all say. But by doing that, I just maybe created competition for him with Alexandra if, if there is anything there. So maybe he doesn't want other people to come out and meet her. But you never know. Well, yeah. Shelton's getting hooked up today. Vanessa and yeah. Shelton got a little, you know, little well, thing going. I, uh, let's be careful here. Getting hooked up or efforting. <laughs> they're, they're two very different things. Uh, there's an effort involved. Love is there, in the there, air. There's a desire. today. Yes. It's yeah. all over the place. Yeah, well, what is? <laughs> Love. Oh, is that it? Love That's is what in you the call air. that. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, <sighs> apparently... And a pledge, I, I I don't know. We've got stained tickets that we're giving away today at some point. Apparently. That's what I, I, you know, it's great when you learn things about what you're doing on the show from what you see in the YouTube channel. Yeah, it's in your promo suite. So, you know, stain, well, breaking Benjamin, it, we've been giving them away all week. Yeah, but you didn't say we have them to give away. I mean, sometimes it, it literally we literally says it's going. in the promo suite, I sent you 
stain and breaking Benjamin tickets. So did you not open that one or wow. I read it, but it's the way wow. it's always there. And, and, and generally you put it in the rundown when we have to give them away and when we're supposed to do that. Wow. But, you know, uh, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> Been in there all week in the same place. Hasn't moved. No, it was it was in the actual it was, email. Relax. Yeah, no, it actually isn't. I can print it and bring <laughs> it to you. At, at that point, my show will be over. So Pledge has some stain tickets to give away, is what I just determined from that. Because <laughs> it's gonna be printed and, and go from there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. See what's going on. UConn now up 55-19. Wow. I think they're gonna win this game. Well, you got to figure they've already got their like second stringers in, third string. Well, well, you got what fifteen guys on the bench total, so probably third stringers in there playing, getting getting a little uh, experience. We'll go over the rest of the tournament, go over the scores, look ahead to some of the afternoon games. But I tell you what, Kentucky gets run yesterday. Calipari is becoming the king of one and done, but not necessarily with players. His tournament record in recent years. And now the excuse making from Coach Cal. You'll hear from him coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. If you are looking for a new dentist, if it's been a while since you've been to the dentist, you need to go see my dentist over at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Dr. Smith does a great job. He's been my dentist for a number of years, although... I did have probably a three or four year gap in between visits with Dr. Smith, but he does great work. And throughout the years, I, I've, I, you know, Doc, I get food caught in my teeth. How can I fix this? Because I'm tired of always having to carry dental floss or something. He's been trying to get me to do Invisalign. I finally did it. I'm six weeks into the Invisalign process. I already see a major difference already. It's incredible. He's also taking care of what I broke a tooth, needed a crown, if whether it's an emergency situation like that. Just getting your teeth checked, making sure you're doing what you need to do with the dentist. Go see Dr. Smith and the great staff there at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Cleaning and whitening, crowns, fillings, dental implants, wisdom teeth extraction. Smile Structure can handle every aspect of your dentistry needs. Dr. Smith is a, a former Army Ranger. He does a lot with veterans. A lot of veterans work there. They do have programs um, for uh, discounted treatments for uninsured veterans. Medicaid and all PPO insurance is accepted, and they offer a dental savings plan if you don't have dental insurance. The big thing is you know you need to go to the dentist. Best dentist to go to is my dentist, Dr. Smith. Go see him. Right now, get a free exam and x-rays when you mention 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Five San Antonio area locations. Book your appointment online. Smilestructure.com is the website. Smilestructure.com. It's the morning huddle with Rob and RJ. Monday on the morning huddle. It's all over but the crying. We're going to try to glue your brackets back together. Plus, the Spurs had two games at home. How did they go? And how did things look with the regular season starting to wind down? It's a ball of game day. We'll see you at six. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-230-2777. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes or overweight or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-230-2777. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-230-2777. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-230-2777, 800-230-2777, or BigLou.com. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes, and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges on your tax debt daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you will owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. 
Optimus Tax Professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima Tax have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-970-3199. That's 800-970-3199. 800-970-3199. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Over the past decade, the Room Pub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Room Pub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Ping G730 and I-530 irons. The G730 irons are Ping's longest and most forgiving irons, while the I-530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more. Visit us in-store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldwideGolf.com get there. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocations, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A U D. A-C-Y. This is Jim Rome. Join me weekdays at noon on my new home, 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. <laughs> it is the place here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Menix. Glad to have you along on this Friday afternoon. Would rather see you in person and shake your hand at the Twin Peaks Live Oak location, which is where we are now. We're live till 6, then extra innings with James Pledger will go 6 to 7. You'll get to meet grumpy-ass Greg Shelton, who's had one of the better Fridays in a long time. Uh, just he's talked to a girl. Her name is Vanessa. I know it. He's working on numbers. Working on them. So far, there's been one digit. It's a finger. I won't say which one. <laughs> he hasn't got the half piece sign yet. He got the, wait a minute, I'll be right back. And that was an hour ago. But, you know, there's there's still a chance. She's working on that restraining order as we speak. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now she seems to do all the traveling back to the kitchen area from the other I know, side of the, the bar. Other, around yes. the long way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's got to get her steps in. She probably looked at her watch uh, yeah, and thought, it. you know, I, I need additional steps. We'll, <laughs> we'll see what uh, we can end up doing. Uh, keeping the update on uh, updated on the uh, tournament. Clemson right now. Uh, Big over New Mexico, 51 at 33 with 15 and a half minutes to play in that one. A lot of people, a lot of the experts are all over New Mexico. Auburn, they're up 12 5. UConn, well, they're letting Stetson hang around in this one. It's now 57 to 30. Whoa! The, the Hatters in the first four minutes have really put a run on UConn. I wouldn't uh, if I, I wouldn't have bet that Stetson would score thirty points. Uh, so not, not the way that thing started. But you got to figure again. UConn's got their second and third stringers in the game, and uh, they're a little bit closer, maybe, to the talent that Stetson has. I don't know. Probably not. But I mean, they're letting Stetson back in this game. Are you getting worried? No, no, no. UConn what? fans should not be worried. I mean, because we realize UConn is not Kentucky. 
and and Kentucky goes down last night. It screwed a lot of people's brackets. A lot of people had Kentucky making a run. Now, the last couple of years, we know that the Kentucky Wildcats have struggled in the tournament. And John Calipari, last year, we're, we're going to make some changes. We're going to do some things differently. And Kentucky's had another great season. A couple of days ago, Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, said, you know what? We shouldn't let these mid-majors into the tournament. They're not good games. The SEC 0-3 yesterday, yeah. losing to uh, those kind of teams that Sankey didn't think were good enough to be on the same court with those SEC big boys, right? So Kentucky loses. John Calipari handles defeat better than a lot of coaches. Now, granted, last couple of years, he's, he's getting used to it. But listening to Cal yesterday, uh, following the game, on the changes that they're going to have to make, the way they run their program, because, well, basketball has changed. I've done this with young teams my whole career, and it's going to be hard for me to change that because we've helped so many young people and their families that I don't see myself just saying, okay, we're not going to recruit freshmen. And But I've taken some older guys, and we've done it. I like what we were doing offensively. How do we get tougher? How do we get more physical? My teams defensively and rebounding have all been better than this, but we've never been like this offensively. And I kind of like coaching the way I did this year. So we've got to figure out who's coming back and who's not. we got this transfer stuff going on. We may not need it. We have an unbelievable group coming in that I feel really good about. I'll, I'll look at other ways that we can do stuff. But, you know, there's this thing here. It's a different animal. We've been able to help so many kids and win so many games and Final Fours, national titles and all this stuff, win league championships with young guys. It's changed on us. It's All of a sudden, it's gotten really old. So we're playing teams that our average age is 19. Their average age is 24 and 25. So do I change because of that? Maybe add a couple older guys to supplement, but that's what these two did. Yes, you change. You have. I to. mean, I, I think you answer your own question. And look, Cal Poirier's a great. He's a great coach. He's got. He's going to go down as a legend. Going to go down as a Hall of Famer. All of that kind of stuff. But you've got to roll with the, with the changes. You have to. And again, that's why these mid majors are successful in some of these games that they are in, because they are older. They played together longer, and you can't go in with a bunch of eighteen year old, multi talented guys that have no experience because they get under the bright lights and guess what? They fold. And that's what happens sometimes. And look, Kentucky is, is a prime example of that. And sometimes look, it, it, not just Calipari, there's a lot of coaches, whether that's in college or pros or wherever that you, you've got to adjust to what's happening. And he said it right there. He knows what the problem is, but he's reluctant to change. It. Well, and he's reluctant because he's been so successful. The, he is the king of one and done. And he doesn't want his players there for a second year because his incoming freshman class is going to take their spot. So he likes to cycle through. Come play your college ball for one year and move on. The problem is King of One and Done has changed. You know, Kentucky now one and four in their past five NCAA tournament games. The worst five-game span in Kentucky's history in NCAA tournament history. Fifteen of their players Eight freshmen, three sophomores. Oakland last night has one freshman, a pair of redshirt freshmen. Five of the Oakland players, by the way, their mascot, the Grizzlies, were seniors or grad transfers, kind of like the kid last night that had, had nothing but threes, man. Ten three-pointers last night, kind of the star of the show. And, and, and when you look at it, for Kentucky and their lack of recent success, Cal's got a $33 million buyout. Yep. Which, you know, Aggie fans will say, well, that's nothing. <laughs> I yeah, wish we'd have had that. I, I, I do think, though, Kentucky people, uh, or if they're looking to change, if he won't, because Cal is one of those that hasn't really adjusted to the portal because he hasn't needed to because he gets the best freshmen. But the best freshmen aren't winning championships anymore. The best teams are with older veteran players that have been there. you, you got to give Calipari credit because Kentucky – has the most players of any other school in the NBA. Yeah. And that's what he does. 
He develops these kids. That's how he recruits the way that he recruits. I heard somewhere today that he's got the second best recruiting class next year coming in in the country. Yeah. And so he recruits very well. But he does that with the promise of, look, I, I know how to get you in the NBA. I've got a lot of players there, and I can do it. Then that's fine for Calipari. But if you're a Kentucky alumni, that's not fine for you. No. You yeah. want championships and banners at Kentucky. And Wally, he's getting guys that are going to the NBA regardless. They just have to have that one year of college basketball, and he's getting them to Kentucky with the idea that they're going to win a national championship, have a good tournament run, a good tournament experience in the process. And it, it, it's not getting done. And you think about, you know, what's his name? Jack Golke last night. Yeah. You know, yeah. grad transfer. Great story. You know, played a small college hit the portal as a grad transfer, had one offer from a Division One school. That was Oakland. And all he does is knock down threes. Uh, and, and, you know, little, I don't want to say cocky, but say he said last night on the court after the game during the TV sideline interview, yeah, we're not Cinderella. Don't call us that. Jack, we appreciate the show, guys. Go enjoy it. Appreciate it. We're not a Cinderella. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see if you're a Cinderella or not. Well, and, and the, the reality is, I mean, now, when Kentucky lost, I wasn't overly uh, worried because I had them losing to Texas Tech in the next round. Well, Texas Tech went and lost. So they will. Ha Oakland will have a fighting chance. And when he says he's not Cinderella, on the podium he was asked about it. And it gave a really good, thoughtful, non-arrogant answer because a lot of people thought we're not Cinderella was a little bit arrogant. But when you listen to his reasoning, you know what? He does make a great point. Obviously, we come in with a, the underdog by uh, all measures, but uh, you just got to, as a player, you can't think that way. You got to go out there and you got to think that you have the same talent level as them. I know they have draft picks, and I know I'm not going to the NBA, but uh, I know on any given night I can compete with those type of guys, and our team can compete with those type of guys. And that's why I was so confident going into it, and that's why I say we're not a Cinderella, because when we play our A game, we're, we can be the best team on the floor. You know, it's going to be interesting uh, between them and North Carolina State because North Carolina State, uh, they've got some bangers. They've got yep. some big guys, and they play a little bit of a different style than Kentucky, to say that, for, I mean, for sure. Now, look, if Gelke makes 10 free th uh, three-pointers again, <laughs> they're going to be tough to beat. But the chances of that happening are slim and none. I mean, he was throwing up shots like Steph Curry. He wasn't even looking. It wasn't set. I mean, he was shooting, you know, throwing it up there, and they were going down. So that's going to have to continue to last if, if they're going to move on and beat North Carolina State and continue on. But um, props to them. I mean, great win, and they got to feel great about it. And, and while he's probably right, he's probably not an NBA player, watching a play, he could have himself a decent pro career overseas. He could go make some money chasing basketball around the world if he wants to, although – I, I, you know, but he, he is like the at least the first day, kind of the star of the show. He's yeah. the first, you know, which is one of the things that are great about March Madness. You know, you start rooting for a school that you don't even know where they are. They're not in California. They're no. Oakland, but they're not in California. Right. Uh, go, go figure. But it, it is kind of one of those cool things. And, you know, 10 three pointers in a game, knocking off Kentucky. Huge. You know, and unfortunately, some piss poor officiating last night robbed us from a a moment with Samford because they were ripe to knock a an awful call, which makes you say, with all the things that are reviewable, why is a play like that not reviewable in college basketball? You know, it drives me insane because it clearly, if you watch the replay, and I'll give the officials, you know, a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Although I don't know why the one official called the foul and the other guy that had the better view didn't. And that, that baffles me. But having said all of that, the, the, the replay was perfectly clear. The kid from Sanford makes a great play, hustles. The block was spectacular, and they call a foul. And that pretty much ended the game where they would have had a shot. They would have had the basketball and a shot to win that thing, only down one point. Um it's just sad when a game ends like that on a horrible call that turns the game like that one did. And it's it's unfair to to, to college uh, basketball fans, but it's certainly unfair 
to that well, kid and his teammates and that university. I, and I appreciate the coach from Sanford taking the high road saying you can't blame the officials. Yeah, yeah we'll, you we'll, can we'll, on we'll, that one. We'll blame the officials. Or uh, do you blame the rules? You know, so many things can be reviewed. And that play, apparently, you can't. I understand the referee calling it the way he did. The block, the way the, the kid from Kansas kind of fell and crashed af afterwards. I thought it was a foul when I watched it live, and I saw the replay and went, oh, my, that was a clean block. And there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, that That's not reviewable. I, with everything that can be reviewed, and, and we talk about this in, in, in all the sports when plays are reviewed, it sucks that the broadcasters say, yeah, they missed this one. Everybody at home sees that they miss it, yet – what you're watching, the, the the referees can't make that change. That doesn't seem right. You wonder if the NCAA will adjust this, or do you come back and have basically what we talk about in the in the spring leagues, a sky judge uh, in college football. You got the guy that can review something real quick, and, hey, you know what? We got that one wrong, so we can get it right. If we're all watching it on television and we all see that a call was wrong, we should have the ability to fix it. You get no argument from me here. I mean, we saw a, a, a replay call a minute ago on one of the games that we were watching on an out of bounds play. That they went, they went to the tape, they looked at it. Now, is is a block? Uh, is is that unreviewable? If it is, yeah, that needs to be changed. But clearly, clearly, especially when it's at that point in the game uh, where it cost another team. The game, basically, or, or a chance to win the game. Not not saying they go down and make a shot. Maybe they don't. Maybe they still lose. But they lost that opportunity to get that uh, get that shot, and, and that's a shame, especially after a great play by the kid from Sanford. Updating scores, tournament games going on right now. Clemson leading New Mexico 57-40. UConn 68-38 lead over Stetson. How about this? Yale leading Auburn, 18-16. Florida, a 10-point lead over Colorado, 24-14. Finals from earlier today. Marquette blows out Western Kentucky. Baylor blows out Colgate. San Diego State gets by UAB, 69-65. That was a great game. And Northwestern in overtime beats Florida Atlantic, 77-65. FAU had every opportunity to win that game in regulation, and they didn't even bother to show up for the final five minutes, getting outscored in overtime 19-7. to Yeah. I mean, uh, Northwestern scored 19 points in the entire first half against FAU. It was 20-19 to at halftime. And in the extra, in overtime, they scored 19 points. You know, An offensive explosion. You got to wonder if F, if F, um what are we talking about? FAU there. Florida Atlantic. Yes, those guys. The if, if they were just depressed, down, uh, I, and they just couldn't get, get up for that, I don't know. But not to mention the fact that, uh, gosh, the other team just shot lights out in the overtime session. I, I, I see some basketball that really makes me scratch my head, and FAU did that. They got, uh, let's see, the game got tied up by Northwestern at 58 with, like, 15 seconds left and they ran a play they didn't call a timeout i think they had a timeout to take, they but did they, they, they had they, a timeout they didn't call a timeout they let a whole lot of time come off the clock they didn't then the dude at the buzzer jacks up a, a, a bad three-point shot and all right we're, go blocked, we're, we're, yeah, we're going over bad time, right? yes, but yes. again they, it's not like they ran a play it's not like you know, you know think about when you know when you were playing basketball growing up or you see a lot of this all right we're going to let it down, get the 10 seconds, get the 8 seconds. All right, let's run a play and do something. There, they just let it go down. All right, two, whoo. All right, miss. All right, right game over. Let's go to overtime. It made no sense None. How, how Florida Atlantic played the rest of that game. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't want to say a team deserved to lose, but the way they closed that thing out, they certainly didn't play to win. Well, I tell you what I've noticed, especially more so this year, it really seems to be to me that a lot of these teams have one guy, and that's their star, or – if you don't have one guy, you got a bunch of, um, I don't want to say average guys, but but guys that aren't stars. And and they all try to do things on their own. Yeah. I didn't see, especially with Florida Atlantic, I didn't see a lot of teamwork. 
uh, down the stretch. It was like one guy gets the ball and he tries to make something happen. And and uh, consequently, the other end of the floor, there was teamwork. They were passing the ball. They were moving around. And so, but I've seen a lot of it, not just in that game. I've seen a lot of it in some of these other games where a guy gets the ball and he never gets rid of it. He's going to the basket. He's shooting it. He's doing something. And the other four guys are just standing there looking. It's the Blitz live out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. We've got Breaking Benjamin and Stained at tickets. They're going to be playing October 25th at the Germania Insurance Amphitheater up in Austin. Daughtry's also going to be there. We got a pair of tickets right now going to caller number 14 at 210 656 ESPN, 656 3776. Caller 14, those tickets are yours. It's the Blitz, 94-1, San Antonio Sports Star. Riding I-35 with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. My new exercise bike. Yeah, more like my $1,500 coat rack. At Babbel, we get it. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language. My Spanish starts and ends at Audios. Make it easy on yourself with Babbel. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Hola, Espanol. It starts here. To try Babbel free, text RADIO to 64000. Text RADIO to 64000. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. World Championship Boxing is coming to San Antonio. Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dnpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. I still get PMS. You know what I mean? So well, why don't I don't you get know. a hysterectomy? California Actually, they I had pay a for partial everything. hysterectomy, smart ass. Why didn't you get a full? I, still, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't just gut me. When they gut you, like a fish, do you age up quicker? Does that estrogen keep you a little younger? Do you flop around right. on the dock? <laughs> <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. Every Saturday morning. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show. Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon. Right here on San Antonio Sports Star. The Golf Club of Texas has some of the best course conditions with the friendliest staff. The golf is great. They have lighted driving range and practice area. While it feels like a country club, it's not a private club. It's open to the public, so bring the family into the Tin Cup Bar, the nicest sit-down restaurant in that area of San Antonio, specializing in Texas food, wine, and spirits. For golf or dinner, go to the Golf Club of Texas off Highway 90, online at golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. If you're a man and you live in San Antonio or the surrounding areas, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Are you having issues rising to the occasion? Do you constantly worry about whether or not you can perform? Have you completely stopped having adult? Something you just don't talk about? Guys, we have a solution. Mojo, the 100% guaranteed male enhancement pill that's fast, effective, and was designed to reignite passion, performance, and confidence in the bedroom. Yeah. Be ready at a moment's notice with the Mojo Male Enhancement Pill from Pure Line Nutrition. And for those of you who have used Mojo, check out Mojo Enduramax. Touchdown! A new formula that improves the potency and effectiveness of Mojo. Get fast results, last longer, and be the man she'll never forget. Mojo and Mojo Enduramax, 100% natural male enhancement formulas, only available at Pure Line Nutrition. Call now, 210-494-2210. That's 210-494-2210. Or visit us online at thepureline.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio 
will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. When a cold comes on strong, try DayQuil's severe honey flavor. The daytime, coughing, aching, stuffy head, fever, honeylicious, power through your day medicine. Powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honeylicious taste so a cold won't slow you down. Get back to your day feeling relieved, enjoying the delicious flavor of DayQuil's severe honey. DayQuil's severe honey flavor soothes your symptoms with a delicious taste. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions. Apply. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, it looks like Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy's trying to do it himself. Jerry's not doing it, so Mike's out looking at Here talent. He's at uh, Michigan today. He's already been to Alabama and to Notre Dame. It is NCAA tournament time. The round of 64 certainly underway. A lot of great action. But today, beginning at 515 on ESPN 1250, the Texas A&M Aggies are going to take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. ByersBarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minnix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minnix. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Your Friday would be happier if you joined us out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. That's does this where guy we look are. happy to you? Absolutely. Yeah, he sure he does. Absolutely. Because why? He's got that cold beer right in front of him. Absolutely. Cold beer and a, and a cold beautiful beer lady ab- sitting next to him? That he brought her with her. Yeah, uh, Or him. Yes. Yeah, they came together, I yeah. think. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. If not, good for him. He oh, exactly. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey. Either way. Nobody's mad at him. Yeah. No, everywhere you look, there's a reason to smile. The no, game's everywhere. <laughs> the game's everywhere, yes. The food looks great. The drinks look good. Beer is cold. Yes. Beer right now, according to the sign, at 27 degrees. So let me tell you something. I had a beer yesterday after the show. You did. It was delicious. Of course it was. I mean, it was delicious. I mean, it's a beer, of Ice course. cold. Yes. That frosty month. Fr- oh, yeah, it was yeah, delicious. Below freezing. Yeah. It, it's exactly it's, what it it's is. It's going down as we speak, 26.9. The temperature of the beer. The temperature yes. of the beer, yes. yes. Wow. I'm going to tell you what. It's good. Yes. It's delicious. Still, it's still going down. Yes. Uh-huh. The the temperature of the beer. Yes. 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 Yeah. Be I, w- I wonder if it'll go up. I mean, I would hope. You would think so? Yeah, I mean, at some point, it fluctuates. <laughs> yeah, it does. Sure yeah. does. Depends on the temperature. Ah, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely, it does. <laughs> you know, um, I just saw a tweet. I, I Come hang out with us here at Twin Peaks today. But if you get a chance, next week, we're going to be in Las Vegas. Woo! The Blitz next week will be live at Circa Las Vegas next Thursday and Friday. And if you go to sasportstar.com, there is a link where you can get discounted rooms. If you look at the Circa Las Vegas social media channels and you see what yesterday was like or what today is like, whether inside that massive sports book or out at Stadium Swim, it, it is incredible. <laughs> I cannot wait to get out there next week. I, uh, yeah, The FOMO, and I, I really do... Um, uh, I, next week, I mean, we, like when we go to Super Bowl, people are like, oh, man, I want to carry your bag. I'm living vicariously through you. Uh, Cowboys training camp, Army, Navy. 
I think next week might be one of those biggest FOMO uh, living vicariously through our experiences that we're going to have here as a radio show. And when you look at the pictures right now, look, it's just opening round. Yeah. The NCAA. You're talking about Sweet 16 next weekend. Not to mention the fact it's opening day of baseball. Yep, yep. Hall of Famer Greg Maddox is going to be out there to throw out the first pitch. Yep. That it is going to be. You look at those pictures and multiply it because it's going to be a crazy, crazy time out there. And I can't wait to get out there. And the good part about it is, y'all can go. Yes. Make your plans. Let's do it. Absolutely. We want San Antonio to roll strong there at Circa Las Vegas. And look, I fly a lot. I love to fly. I just saw the weirdest headline on uh, Twitter, Uh an an Uh an Associated Press story. The FBI tells passengers on the plane that lost a panel in flight they might be crime victims. Crime victims? Well, but the story doesn't really say anything. Now, we we all remember the story not long ago that Alaska Airlines uh, plane lost a door mid-flight, right? That door panel, they were, you know, over Oregon and the door came off. You know, nobody died. Nobody was seriously hurt. But uh, according to the Associated Press... These people have gotten letters in the mail that were on the uh, on the plane says, I'm contact- contacting you because we have identified you as a possible victim of a crime. The case is currently under investigation by the FBI. A criminal investigation can be lengthy for several reasons. We cannot tell you about its progress at this time. A victim of a federal crime is entitled to receive certain services. Um they're, that is Alaska Airlines trying to cover their legal behind. Well, I think they're already going to get um, some sort of compensation. They all have lawyers. I know. But, everybody's going to sue the pants off of them. Well, but, hey, it wasn't us. Well, it was a crime. Well, apparently, you know, like four bolts weren't put back on a door and the door fell off. So right. uh, but my, my original thinking, all right, if the FBI is investigating this as a crime, not shoddy work, well, did they figure this was done intentional? Uh, it's, that's what it sounds like, or that's how they want to spin it anyway. Now, when they're looking at planes after work is done, do they not look to make sure all the bolts are there? I mean, you would think you would think four missing bolts would be kind of noticeable on a door. Yeah, you right? would think so. A, a door panel. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how many bolts are supposed to be there, but I would think those would be kind of things you would notice if you were doing a good job inspecting. Like... Hey, there's no bolts here. I the mean, door you know, might fall off. Well, I, look, <laughs> I mean, we work with one of the greatest engineers. We do? Well, his name is Halen, but we oh. also work with Greg Shelton. <laughs> oh. And, and and there are times when Shelton will do work in the studio, and it's just good enough. And, I, and I've realized good enough works for a while, but then Halen has been able to go in and completely fix things that were just good enough and sometimes you know like the microphone would just fall in the middle of a show because it was done just good enough um <laughs> now now shelton's getting a little offended it sounds like well i know i mean to shelton's credit with halen supervision he did fix it and it hasn't fallen since what do you think that's going to last forever no 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 absolutely no, not it, it won't last forever but I've seen the difference between a just good enough and Halen. And, you know, Halen, bless his heart. I tell you what, I thought it was Greg's kid when he first brought him in. (laughs) The guy looks young, but he's very smart. He is very smart, but he does look 14. He does. Born in 19. I'm sorry. Yeah. Born in 98. Born in 98. Wow. So he's he's, he's 25, 26. Something like that. That's how old my daughter is. Yeah. So he's a baby. Yeah, he, he is literally a baby during why he's over great shelter. Well, probably a lot of other people, too. I would imagine. But he has not talked to Vanessa today, and, and, and Greg will always have that over Halo. Well, you know, Greg, chick magnet. Well, you know, Greg, not necessarily, but he keeps showing her pictures <laughs> of his dog, Josie, which is having the proper effect. Josie's a wonderful dog. You know, I would love to go along with that hoax, Minix, but there hasn't been a female around Greg Shelton for the last hour and a half. I, I mean, <laughs> not not since the attempt was made. <laughs> Although we just got. got and rebuilt. I haven't seen Vanessa lately either. Oh, she's right, right she, there. She's oh, she's there she right is. There. <laughs> I mean, she won't come talk to Greg anymore. It, it's certainly a possibility. 
And now she realizes that we're talking about her and Greg Shelton. Oh, and, yeah. And so her that, friends oh, back oh, there oh, oh, giving her crap. Order. But, yeah. <laughs> but Greg does have a lovely dog. Uh, <laughs> he's turning red. It's possibility. I mean, you got the name. We'll see if you end up with the number. <laughs> and my question is, what is the number two? Yeah, five, 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 five. Well, that's better than all the fours. Four, 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 four. four. <laughs> that's a different kind of attorney you would need. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah, we, you keep talking in Sports Center about the Cowboys doing work. Yeah, they're at the Michigan Pro Day. That should scare the hell out of all of us based really on should. our experiences recently with Michigan players ending up with the Dallas Cowboys. Although a running back is in need, and they've got a pretty damn good one that apparently can run a route. So uh, we can't do shots on the air, but about 6 o'clock we could. See, <laughs> Vanessa is trying, Greg Shelton, to get you shots for an obvious reason, right? But but later, at, at 5.59.50, we can have shots. Yes. 5.59.50? Yes. All right. Yes. Set your timer. Although maybe 555, you know, pledge can work extra. Yeah. I would say pledge gets you early. He'd probably do a two hour show today. I mean, it's Friday. Why not? Why not? Why not? I think he should. Although pledge in a trench coat at Twin Peaks is going to be a sight. Dude, I don't know if they'll let him in. I mean, they kind of have to. With a trench coat? He's literally wearing a trench coat today. Dude, uh, Pledge, hey, don't hey, wear hey. the trench coat, No, it's buddy. not a black trench coat. It was a uh, tan. I don't care what color it is. But it's a trench coat. It's a trench coat. A trench coat. Don't do that, Pledge. Don't do it. It's possible. We'll talk some we'll Cowboys see. coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. When you need an electrician, you know Hill Electric is available to you 24-7 for both residential and commercial needs. I've used Hill Electric for a variety of projects at my house through the years. They've done fantastic work at my house. They will at yours as well. Or your business for over three decades, the family-owned Hill Electric has served San Antonio homes and businesses. Whatever your project is, Hill Electric has the right service at the right price. And the best part, there's never a service charge. They always offer free estimates. So it costs you absolutely nothing to find out what it will take to get a project done at home, at work. Call Hill Electric, 210-404-9074, 404-9074, or hill-electric.com. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. George gets justice. In life's most challenging moments, getting the right help matters most if you've been injured. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers. With a track record of success and a dedication to their clients, George gets justice. George Salinas Injury Lawyers is not just a law firm. They're your support system. Get George at George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. GetYours.com. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in store or online at Ansira.com. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 
$197 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text PROJECT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text PROJECT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text PROJECT to 200-300. Text the word PROJECT to 200-300. PROJECT to 200-300. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your body's own natural ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk, run, climb stairs, play golf, and move again, pain-free. No pills, no risky surgery. QC Kinetics has tens of thousands of satisfied patients who have reclaimed their mobility. So take action now. It's a great use of your tax refund check, by the way. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 210-571-0318. 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. Locations in Hollywood Park, Westover Hills, and New Braunfels. In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. At Edwin Watch Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Ping G730 and I530 irons. The G730 irons are Ping's longest and most forgiving irons, while the I530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more. Visit us in-store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldwideGolf.com. Get there. Check out the Jim Rome Show, weekdays and noon. If you're San Antonio, there are benefits that come along with it. I will cut you the front of the line. We're going to hype the return. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob Thompson and RJ Ochoa. Monday on the Morning Huddle, we're recapping all of the tournament action and getting ready for Spurs Suns Round 2. The Cowboys, well, who knows if they're even awake at this point in time. Plus, we're keeping tabs on opening day coming around the bend this week. Big foot, left shoe. Happy weekend. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 as San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle. I'm Jay Semenix. We are live out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Come hang out with us, especially if you live out in this area. Come come hang out. First time I've been in this particular location. It's yeah, their yeah. newest out here over here by ikea there's this whole area has been built up it really has it's grown very quickly out here there's no doubt with a lot of stuff but uh, i've been to all the other twin peaks except this one so now i've been here and uh yeah it's a good one a lot of a lot of activity happening and uh i think we're going to see the same thing although a little bit different than yesterday remember that first wave of yep. ncaa games we kind of cleared out a little bit and then as the second wave came in this one stayed steady all afternoon. Now, it is Friday. Maybe that makes a big difference. Well, that makes a big difference. And uh, it's a, uh, what do they call it, bourbon and brews Friday? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and bourbon so you and got brews. bourbon brews Friday, uh, which means it's a lingerie day. Lingerie uh, day. Now, that's only for the employees, not for the customers, thankfully. Th- thankfully. You think? I mean, I, I, Joe, I think, you would, you would I think even, somebody you wore lingerie to the shop to door. go buy that. Well, no, I wouldn't, but I'm just saying if somebody happened to walk through the door with lingerie, what, are they going to kick them out? Oh, it depends. I, I mean, it's certainly no, I a possibility. Say, I didn't say they were wearing Depends. I said I, I, they were wearing lingerie. Well, if you were wearing Depends, they would certainly kick you out, although you probably should wear Depends as long as they had jeans over them, right? Well, <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I, I would imagine. Depends on how long the flight is. <laughs> Well, let's see. We've been here <laughs> since noon, so it's the equivalent of a yeah. But I've got a flight, I mean, by, a flight by Yingling in the very near I've got future. A, I got a I got a nice men's room right there. Yeah. So I don't have to travel too far. Did you get confused at the door? No, no. All no. right. 
just I mean, checking. you stand to pee, right? Well, well yeah, but okay. I mean, I know some lazy dudes that would rather sit. No. So they, they might be confused, you know, like Greg Shelton. He yeah. sits? Well, you know, that way he can get a solitaire game in. Sometimes he works <laughs> so hard, it's his only break. So, oh, yeah. I mean, that's right. That's you know, that. it, it's hard to stand and play solitaire at the same time. But, you know, you can sit down and get a lot of stuff done. Well, you know, yeah. it, it is kind I mean, of interesting I mean, how they do that. And I guess that's a Twin Peaks thing. Yeah, yeah. It well, had obviously. the same thing yeah. uh, yesterday, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. And it's a stand, yeah. the number two, and the letter P. Yeah. And the other sit. Yeah. It's catchy, isn't it? It's, it is. Yeah. 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 So what's on the family door? I didn't see a family door. Is there a family door? Yeah, literally, you walked right past it. Really? I think it just says family without uh, anything fancy. Why? Well, didn't need the family. I don't have the family here, so I'll uh, I'll go to the stand to pee. <laughs> well, if you go to the sit to pee, you're probably going to go to jail too. Well, maybe. I mean, I mean not you maybe. You never know these there, days. There, there really is no maybe. Uh, um, there, there really is no maybe. I'll you just... did call in Albert over at A Best Bail Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> just certainly. <laughs> it depends if I'm wearing lingerie. Uh, then you're definitely calling Albert. <laughs> that would be indecent exposure. Woo. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> I was about to say, extra large thongs to not be a thing. No. But... For you. Yeah, the yeah. caveman look. Oh, is that what you're going sure. for? A little snuggy and nothing else, or maybe like a. So uh, the Cowboys coaching staff <laughs> is up a... in, in Ann Arbor watching the Michigan Pro Day. Um, uh, uh, what the, why, Jason? Well, I mean, they were, I, I mean, I, uh, for Miles. Uh, for Everybody Flyer, Miles, they've gotten from Michigan just has not turned out well. There were more people. Uh, and I saw this from, I, I forget who earlier on Twitter, but one of those that covers all these college pro days and all this, the number of scouts and NFL personnel at Michigan's pro day today, a crazy number, oh, well over a hundred. And this reporter tweeted out, this is the most I've ever seen at any pro day workout. And it's not like they have Caleb Williams. It's not like they, you know, one of those just remarkable quarterbacks. But they do have so many different players that could fill a lot of needs, whether you're looking at their quarterback. You know, uh, apparently Mike McCarthy was putting Blake Corum, their running back, through all kinds of drills uh, and coming out of the backfield. I, I mean, I, I don't know that I'd be mad at a, a Corum Dowdle Vaughn backfield. No, and I think he's uh, he's a prospect, and I think that, uh, that the Cowboys are certainly interested in or should have some interest in him. Uh, the kid Benson from Florida State's another one. The Cowboys are going to draft the running back, just a matter of who. Um, I, I, just, I don't know. Michigan, look, they won the national title, I guess, and I'm sure they've got a lot of talent. Just Michigan and the Dallas Cowboys just haven't seemed to mix lately. You and know, they got two guys from there last year, and neither one of them really did anything. What, 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 uh, Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm gun shy when I think about Michigan players at this point. But with all the talent, the national championship, and I don't know the fact that Harbaugh showed up. He already knows all those guys. You know, they, I mean, if, if, if the Chargers didn't show up, that'd be like the red flag. These guys are good <laughs> college guys, but they're not going to be good pros, right? Exactly. I, I mean, but but at the same time, if you think it's the right guy, you, you got. Yeah, I don't think you can let his college logo be the reason you don't take somebody. You know, you put him through the tests, you go, and maybe because the Cowboys have been so inactive during free agency at this point, maybe maybe they're not really there to seriously watch Michigan players, but maybe. They need to have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody to finalize a trade. Maybe there is some other kind of horse trading going on because clearly we expect the Cowboys to do some kind of work. Now, I, I will go back and tell you, I, I know when free agency was about to start, I was the one saying they're not going to do anything. Yes, they have lots of holes they're going to have to fill. And we've seen all the departures. 
to a degree more than maybe we thought. I thought, but I, I'm not. A, I'm not surprised at a lot of the departures with their own free agents, and I didn't expect them to big players the first couple, three or four days. But we're damn near two weeks in, and the only outside free agent they have signed is linebacker Eric Kendricks. I probably expected, honestly, a little more activity. I see Michael Gelkin in the Dallas Morning News has a great story today, and it says it's like the Packers game. They're down 27 to nothing at halftime, and, and that's how free agency feels right now. They are down 27 to nothing. If you're thinking about that game and a comeback, you have no margin for error, and that's what Michael Gelkin wrote about today. The Cowboys, the rest of this free agency with the draft coming on, whatever trades they, they make, they can't afford any kind of margin for error. And you are foolish if you think they are going to nail every pick in the draft and every draft pick that they get are going to be immediate impact players. And when you look at their holes, it does look like that is a big part of their plan. I hope I am misreading that, and so is everybody else, because nobody can count on a whole bunch of rookies coming in and being immediate impact players. How in the world can you look at it any other way with what they have not done? And not only that, how many guys have left this football team? I mean, and so with all the holes that they have to fill, there's no way they can do it in the draft. True. That's impossible. I don't know what's out there free agent-wise and what guys will pop up. Uh, the two trades that they made last year that everybody raves about and should be uh, were in March. They were before this date in March. So the Cowboys have done absolutely nothing. And I, I really am curious to see what their plan is if they have a said plan. Well, they, and that's the thing. They have a plan. No, I, they do. Just because you don't know it. Who thought mean, it would be a good idea to, to do nothing? I mean, seriously. I, again, they haven't done anything. That doesn't mean they haven't done any work and they don't have a plan. I mean, I, I mean, be honest. I mean, we're mad that we don't know what the plan is. We wish there would be some transparency. <laughs> but they know we know they're going to fill out the roster. We know they have more holes to fill right now than they have draft picks. And, you know, Steven said the other day, I mean, you know, they're going to see other players that are going to get released. We know that is going to happen. They've done a really nice job through the years of signing undrafted free agents at the end of the draft. Marquise Bell is a prime example of that. But there's got to be more to it. They are looking for those low-priced veteran players in a similar fashion to what the Texans did last year in putting their roster together. And I say that not knowing their plan, but that's all that's left. So that's got to be what it is. <laughs> there will be guys signed. It, it isn't going to be all draft, but their first-round pick has to be an immediate impact player. Their second-round pick, as it sits right now, has to be an immediate impact player. It, it, they're down seemingly 27 to nothing to steal the line from Michael Gelkin. The game's not over, right? So we can't judge them yet on free agency and the building of the roster for the 2024 season because it's too early to give them any kind of final grade. But to this point, through two weeks of free agency, it's about as ugly as the first half of that game against the Green Bay Packers. All of that you said is true, but I, I cannot even believe in the staunchest Dallas Cowboy fan, and I'm sitting next to one, can look at what this team has not done, can look at all the players that have left, and and with any reasoning say this team has a chance to win a Super Bowl next year. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm just I, saying. I, 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 and, and you wouldn't say that. You'd you be can't idiot say, to say that about any team right now because – Sure free, you uh, can. Uh, of course uh, you can. Uh, free agency I can has, look – I can pick, I can pick several teams out and say, yeah, they got a legit shot. Dallas Cowboys, that window just went bam. Well, I, I mean, look, I'll make your head explode and you'll roll your eyes. But as long as the Cowboys have Dak Prescott at quarterback, they're going to have a chance. Stop now, it. Now, I, I, and I, the, what makes you think I, that? Well, I, I mean, you have to have a quarterback to have a chance to win. Well, Dak I hasn't did. done a damn thing in the postseason. We know that. Playoff Prescott, as I've said a thousand times, that's a bad word. He's not good in the postseason. He's horrible. But if you've got, if you've got a legit quarterback, you've got, you've got a chance. Right. Uh, that, that's the bottom line. Am I saying right now, do I think the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl? No. No, 
But we are so far away from free agency being over. The draft hasn't happened. A trade might be in the works. I, I, I've got to believe that the Cowboys are doing something. You know, it's it's uh, what I, I don't know. <laughs> but there, there's got to be some sort of plan. And when you look at the last several years, the rosters that they have put together using a very slow and methodical process have built some pretty damn good teams. Now, they've got a lot of holes to fill. I'm curious, just like everybody else, I'm waiting to see what they do, if they're going to be able to pull something out. Yeah, because they're going to pull a it, lot out. Well, they, they do. Um, but at the same time, we don't. they don't get a final grade right now. You know, you're two weeks in. It, it's the first half. It's the first quarter of the roster construction process. It doesn't seem like it's off to a good start. It's not off to a good start. Right? <laughs> it's off to a horrible start. But it's terrible. And and uh, th- to say they even have a plan, uh, what what is their plan? Well, we don't H- know. To hope? Hope that somebody happens to get released that they just fall in love with and, and just hope that uh, their draft picks fill the need? Yep. Hope that – I mean, right now that's all you have from them. That's it. Well, There's nothing. And for for a team that claims better to, to have, have hope than no hope. For for a team that ha- claims to have a quarterback that can take them to the promised land, don't you think you ought to put some some pieces around them? Well, of we course. Well, they're, the not they're not doing it. Program. It's just not doing it. Of course. Well, they ha- I, I mean, they haven't done it yet, but we're two weeks in. Well, I'm, I, I, mean, I, I appreciate your positivity. Well, I, there's no positivity here. Don't, <laughs> well, no, I, I, I don't you know. keep you I, keep I, defending I, them like well, some kind of miraculous. Well, uh, players are going to fall out of the sky and they're going to be this uh, this championship team because of Dak Prescott. <laughs> you put so much words in my <laughs> in my mouth. Um you're so full of uh, crap. Uh, 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 okay. But, but, but honestly, I'm I, 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 I the mean, truth. Well, I mean, look, you're judging a team as if the final roster is set, right? <laughs> I, I, are are you the kind of guy that will spend all kinds of money to go down, you go to a game and the game doesn't start well, and you leave in the middle of the first quarter, ah, oh, they're going to lose this one. I'm going to beat the traffic and go home. That's, That's what you sound like. Yeah, you, well, you, yeah. You know, they're it's all completely, their, it's completely all, different. Uh, all their chances are gone. For a team yeah. that is going to spend a whole lot of money on yep. four guys, yep. uh, it four. did not do anything. Who's the four? Well, Trayvon Diggs, they already spent a lot of money on him. Oh, well, but you said going to. Well, they've got to write yeah, a check yeah. to them. Sorry, three guys. Right, yeah, they'll have four that are going to take up most of the salary cap. Yeah, yeah they will. And Jerry will make a bazillion dollars next year, and maybe that's all he cares about. You know, Jerry, I, I, do you see Reed where he put another one hundred million dollars yes. into that gas company? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Focus, Jerry. Focus. Uh-huh. That's what you need to do. It is the Blitz here on ninety four one at San Antonio Sports Star. We'll get you tra- caught up on the tournament scores when we come back and you think about all the different places to go, watch all the games, get into the roof up there at 281 and Redland Road with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. You know the roof up is the spot to go watch any big game, any big event. And when you get into the roof up, go hungry. The food fantastic and that kitchen is open late till 2 a.m every day with the full menu available the roof have has happy hour weekdays from 11 to 6 great for lunch great for dinner great for late at night and the best place to watch a game down from the big blind right next to the angry elephant there at 281 in redland road that we'll see you at the roo it's the morning huddle with rob and rj Monday on the morning huddle. It's all over but the crying. We're going to try to glue your brackets back together. Plus, the Spurs had two games at home. How did they go? And how did things look with the regular season starting to wind down? It's a ball at game day. We'll see you at 6. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah. People are saying Jackson Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. And now another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. That doesn't sound good. Paper shredder is jammed, but I think I 
<laughs> Fixed it. Oh, well, try shredding these $50 bills then. Seems like it's working. Mm, better try another 400 bucks. Stop. Instead of using money, use regular paper. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the Pick'em Game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your Pick'em entry, and all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big. Up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick a entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com before you fire up that grill make sure you get into tri-county meat market hi jason minix here tri-county meat market has everything you need if you're thinking steaks you want some chicken some poppers beef ribs pork ribs brisket picanha tri-tip they've got it all at tri-county meat market take advantage of their pick five for 25 and tri-county always offers a 10 percent discount for military and first responders tri-county meat market two locations on ralph Air road and on hebner or online at tricountymeat.com Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text PROJECT to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text PROJECT to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text PROJECT to 200-300. Text the word PROJECT to 200-300. PROJECT to 200-300. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Menix. Live out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Come hang out with us on this Friday. Watch some tournament games. Spurs play a little later. Cold beer and uh, on this bourbon and brews day, the scenery, the scenic views. Scenic views. Yeah, they're a little bit better. Don't do it that way. <laughs> that, only Rob Thompson can really I know, get away with saying that. It. that yeah, I, I mean, not that he though. doesn't sound creepy, but... Uh, <laughs> Rob has a unique way. He does. He of does. Of saying a lot of things, including scenic views. He does. Yes. So, yeah, but come on out. He's got the Aggies playing, what, a little before 6 o'clock. Yep. After that, Houston is going to be on. They're playing. Uh, and then you said the Spurs take it on the Memphis Grizzlies. All of those games will be on the massive amounts of TVs that they have here at Twin Peaks. So, come out and see us here at Live Oak. If you're just getting off work or about to, head this way. When you look at uh, games that are going on right now, Auburn leading at Yale, 41 at 34. Colorado and Florida are tied wow. at 45 at halftime. Uh, those are the only two games in action right now. Finals from earlier today, Clemson 
They beat New Mexico 77 at 56. A lot of people thought Clemson was going to get upset, and they just blew the doors off of New Mexico. UConn blew the doors off of Stetson. They have no hat left, 91 at 52. <laughs> Marquette over Western Kentucky, 87-69. Baylor beat Colgate, 92-67. San Diego State got by UAB, 69 at 65. And Northwestern in overtime beat Florida Atlantic 77-65. The uh, smart kids from Northwestern, they outscore the Owls in overtime 19-7. to Yeah, that's the only game I've lost today early on is that Northwestern game. Other than I'm having a pretty good first half of the day. Uh, but I, that, that, your that, evening now that you've yeah, bragged. Well, that happened yesterday too, and then the evening screwed me up. The game I'm looking forward to watching tonight is the James Madison-Wisconsin game. I want to watch that because – uh, we've talked about New Mexico. Everybody was high on them. McNeese State, everybody was high on them. And now James Madison is that team that is, that is another one that's thrown in that everybody's high on. Can they finally come through for the so-called experts that are trying to pick these mid-majors that are going to make some problems? Uh, that They're the only ones left, and I want to see if, uh, if they can get it done. Well, and again, that's one of those 12-5 matchups, which I think does add in to the – you know, James Madison and all these 12s. But, you know, so far it's been more of the 11 sixes, although Clemson gave a couple of middle fingers to that theory uh, today. And you look at some of the other games today. Again, Texas A&M playing at Nebraska at 550. That game on TNT, obviously live here at Twin Peaks as, as well. And over on ESPN AM 1250, if you want to hear the Andrew Monaco call. That one, you know, when you're looking at eight, nine matchups, it goes either way. And you know, for Texas A&M, they've got a hell of a team when they can make baskets. It's amazing that they just don't have the reliable shooters, the offense. You know, watching them in the SEC tournament last week with Rob Thompson, yeah, you know, it's the thing that he was complaining about so much. Like, like, why does Buzz not recruit some shooters? That's what this team is lacking. Well, it, you know, Nebraska. It should be a good matchup tonight. should be a good game between those two. Um, looking forward to that. I am looking forward to watching Houston. They didn't look good against Iowa State. You could say well, they were already in the tournament. They were already a number one seed. They didn't really give a damn about that game. But um, they didn't look good against Iowa State. However it shakes out, can they shake that off and, uh, and make a nice tournament run? That's going to be the question. Yo, uh, Duke and Vermont, yeah. Purdue Grambling, uh, one seed. Alabama, Charleston, eh. Houston against Longwood, yeah. James Madison, <laughs> Wisconsin, uh, uh, TCU, Utah State, another nine eight matchup, and then you got Grand Canyon and St. Mary's, another twelve five. You know, my wife getting ready for work today, put on her Grand Canyon t shirt, ready to go. Uh, yesterday she was wearing Washington State. Yeah, she can't make up her mind. Although she went to eighteen different universities, well, so she's, yeah. she's representing. Yeah, and we met a server at the uh, Twin Peaks Days of Allah location. I just thought that was an online school, but apparently it's not. No, they uh, got people a whole, actually go there. They got a whole campus and everything. It is wow. not the University of Phoenix. I uh, who knew? Well, a, a lot of people. Knew. I didn't know. A lot of people knew. So I was educated yesterday. Yeah, Grand Canyon is a real a beautiful campus. How's their basketball team? It's great. I guess so. Well, I mean, you remember for a long time, Dan Marley was their coach. Oh, okay. You know, and, all right. And, all right. Uh, you know, uh, they, they I, I, I will tell you this. And uh, Lisa Campos, if you're listening, the basketball arena that Grand Canyon has is what UTSA needs. The size of it, the way it is constructed. Now, I haven't been to a basketball game. I was there for a graduation. But I've seen at their basketball games on television. But that is the perfect kind of arena for what UTSA needs. Um, you know, it, it, it is so, I, I mean, and why UTSA won't spend the money to build one is beyond me. You know, they're getting the practice facility, which is great. But, my goodness, do they need a new arena. And, and I think that would be a great start. What Just pick the one up they got at Grand Candy and build one just like it. Change purple to orange, and you'll be in good shape. They need to do something. I agree. That convocation center is just uh, – it's outlived its usefulness. It actually outlived its usefulness about 20 years ago. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean – 
you know, Tim Carter, when he was coaching there, was campaigning for a new arena. Yeah. And, and, and it's been a couple of minutes for him. Yeah, and I know that uh, it's expensive to do that. I get all of that. But when the best high school uh, basketball arena in San Antonio is – 10 times better than the number one university basketball arena. You, you got a problem. Well, I would say, I mean, quite honestly, look at where St. Mary's plays. Uh, you know, to a degree, I mean, I, I would take UIW's oh, basketball sure, arena, yeah. gym uh, over the Convocation Center. I would take Alamo gym over the Convocation Center. I, well, I love Northside Gym. I mean, well, that place uh, is fantastic. I mean, Northside Gym is, you know, the best in town. I mean, they, uh, it's, they, it's incredible. Awesome. And right. I know, look, but couldn't you do that? And I know that Northside gets a lot of uh, tax dollars yeah. to be able to do stuff yeah. like yeah. that. The UTSA doesn't. And I understand all of that. But, I mean, uh, my goodness, it could only help uh, recruiting. It could only help everything. Uh, if, if you had a little bit nicer arena, it doesn't have to be a palace, but something that's a little more modern and a little, uh, you know, updated. Well, I tell you what. They're and new, a little nicer. Their new coach is working tonight. Uh, the assistant at Alabama, 635 on a true TV as Alabama takes on Charleston. And, uh, you know, you I, I don't know, you root for Alabama to, to, to lose early so he can get to San Antonio and start to get to work or go on a long run because that might help him recruiting some kids to San Antonio, especially using the portal to quickly turn this program around. On our YouTube channel, uh, Hector Alicia says UTSA has got to win first, makes it easier to get funding. And, you know, now you start talking about the chicken and the egg. Yeah. Yes, they have to uh -huh. win. But a new arena will help them get recruits, better recruits, which will hopefully turn into wins. Now that they're in the American, uh, you know, I don't I, I don't know if the funding is there for a new building or NIL money to get the right players or not the right players, the, the uh, players that will come on the budget you've got. Uh, type of situation that will help but i know at one point brooks thompson when he was the coach told me uh, on recruiting visits they never actually went to the gym <laughs> they never went not. to the gym I, I, he said, you can't take them to the convocation center and sell it you, you can't so you did all kinds of stuff but bring them to uh, not to campus but show them the gym and that's that's difficult well, eventually they're going to see it, though, right? I mean, and, and right now, before they get their practice facility up, they, they still practice in there. They're going to see it. It's it's it, you, I mean, you might as well show it to them early. And I get Brooks, and that's going back a little ways, yeah. too, right? So, um, that, look, I, I think they will get it. They're on the right track. They're getting some money. Some of the, the these businesses and corporations are, are starting to pony up. Um, was it Grehe the other day that donated a million and a half or something to that effect? And uh, so I, I know they're they're having some success doing uh, some of the things that they need to do, but it's just it it, it it's it's a little it's got to be frustrating, especially if you went to UTSA, you're a grad. But look, everybody's got to remember, 20 years ago, that school was a commuter college. Yeah, you know there were there weren't even any dorms on that place. So it you know baby steps, it's happening. And the fact that their football team is having the success that it's had, um, you know, that's that's incredible on its own. When you when you think about it, and again, we're such a microwave society. When you put it that way, yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it you, UTSA has come a long way in a short uh, amount of time, and we're all gonna because we want everything right now. Uh, patience. And one thing about Lisa Campos, I don't know how patient she really is. And she's done a lot of things there. There's also times that I've questioned whether it's grown so fast as it gotten too big for her. Um, but I look at the last round of funding, the different things that they're planning. You know, overall, she's probably doing a pretty good job. I don't know how to rate whether... Uh, you know, she's doing her job well if she's raising money and they're they're making progress on getting buildings, um, retaining coaches, paying all that kind of stuff. But, you know, and, and like any person in a position like that, you hear fans of hers and not fan, from fans of hers sure. and, and not fans of hers. That's that's the bottom line. But, you know, I, I, I feel bad for Steve Henson because, you know, at some point, you, you know, you can only use my facilities for so long. He was able to recruit some good players. You're making five hundred thousand dollars a year. You got to go get some wins. Yeah, you have to. And and uh, 
fortunately for Steve, he's still getting a paycheck, at least for a couple more days. Well, Though I'm glad I'm happy for him in that. that gets day. paid through the end of the month. But look, I I think Lisa's doing a good job with what she's got to work with. And you look at and you know the hiring of Jeff Trailer, first and foremost. I mean, you gotta give her kudos and 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 she's gotta be able to ride that for a little while. You go and you steal an Alabama assistant. Uh, I think that that's a coup and and a good hire. Um and and, and you know We'll see what he does. He hasn't won one game yet for UTSA, but we'll see what he does and how he recruits. But I, I think Lisa's done a good job. I really do. And I think that, uh, she, you know, at some point in time, it's like anything. You want all you got all these grand things that you want to do. And then they say, well, this is our budget. And you go, oh, OK, so let's prioritize and, and do that. And I think that's what Lisa's doing. I, I'm a fan of Lisa, and I think she's doing a good job. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location on this Friday. On Monday, the Blitz is going to be live out at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, which is on 90 and Lucky Ranch Road for a golf tournament after party. Golf tournament sold out, so if you uh, – uh, got a spot, you know, get there early Monday morning for that 9 o'clock shotgun start. We're going to start with a, a great cold beer, uh, a toast, if you will, from Flight by Yingling. There's also, we're going to put on a putting contest beforehand uh, for your chance to uh, win a great prize or two. Uh, and then all the activities throughout the golf tournament. Uh, and, and then we're going to 90 proof. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to be a golfer or be in our golf tournament to come to the party afterwards, right? So if you're not a golfer, if you didn't get off work, that's fine. You can still come come hang out with us at 90 Proof. And uh, my guess is uh, uh, you'll still probably get a beer from Flight by Yingling. And, uh, that, you know, we'll, we'll have some prizes to give away there. And you'll hear a lot of uh, stories about long putts that weren't really made. Well, yeah. but And then some like mine. My story is absolutely true. And What story? Well, the story of every long putt I've made. And I'll probably make a couple. Before the golf tournament, really? Are you oh, gonna, sure. You're going to try to get into the putting well, contest. Well, why not? I mean, I can't play golf, so I mean, the least they can do is let me in the putting contest. Well, are, are you going to bring your putter, or are you going to borrow one? Doesn't matter. I don't. You know, it's, having a putter's overrated. Having a putter is overrated. I'm just saying. There's what, lots of the, jokes there. One of those. <laughs> fan, one of those fancy putters <laughs> that you know you got to pay. There's. There's lots Two or of three hundred bucks there. Lot, lots of jokes there. I just got a weird text from R.J. Ochoa. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Checking on something. Uh huh. Am I playing golf on Monday? No one has told me either way, so I didn't know whether or not to take my clubs. R.J., that would be a no. Well, I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> why, why are you asking me? Like I have any say in that? Well, or, or have you texted Rob and he's in the middle of his Friday afternoon nap? Um. Uh, texted other people that just are are, are not, like not responding i don't I, I don't understand why but dude take your clubs if you get to use them use them if, if not because i think his parents and his wife are, are they bought a spot in the tournament so they're gonna play oh is that right, right? so i mean well they you know the show ends at 10 he can run out there and meet him on the you know fourth well, or fifth he, hole. he's got to work that's what well he's got to work that's what i'm saying he can't play. He can't play. I'm answering him now. You're, no, So you RJ. want me to say Joe says no, you can't Joe play? Joe said no. Did he text you? Well, no, he didn't text me. Why didn't he text you? He said he wasn't friends with me anymore because I put ketchup on my chicken fried steak. Well. That's what he said. I, I, that, that's a true statement. I'm just saying. That Joe did put chicken fried steak in us ketchup earlier. Absolutely. That was gross. It was delicious. It was gross looking. I don't know how well that tasted. It was delicious. But it looked gross. Now, I've tried it before. You've convinced me to at least try it. I'm not going to knock something until I've tried it, unless it's green. And uh, it was bad. I tried it one time. I'll never do that again. Now, now define bad. It wasn't bad. And maybe you didn't like it, but it wasn't bad. I found it to be bad. I think you're overreacting. No, it was bad. It, it was It was bad. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 you're overreacting a little bit Overreacting? Here. Yeah. I don't think I'm overreacting. Uh, you are. I, I'm not overreacting. It was it was bad. I mean, if it was good, I would have. Or all right, I say. Well, Do you not I, like ketchup? No, I love ketchup. Well, then how? And you like gravy? I, I like gravy. And you like chicken fried steak? You like all? And you're telling me it was bad? It was bad. Because they don't go together. They they, they, they do go together. No, no, they they it did uh, it did not pair well. They it absolutely was, it, go together. It was not. And it looked. I mean, nobody wants bloody gravy, and that's kind of what it looks like after you 
take it and you swirl it around the, the ketchup and the gravy. It's just it's just a bad look. It's not well, maybe a bad look, but it tastes well, great. It, it, I, I'm it, sure it, you've that, eaten. T- t- tastes great? No, it does not taste Dude, great. Dude, I'm sure you've eaten stuff I, I that looks horrible. I just said it tasted bad. <laughs> I, no, it's, it's I, I, I I did not enjoy it. I thought it was All right. I thought well, it was good. bad. Good. It's I just thought more, it was bad. More ketchup for me. Okay. <laughs> Would you like some uh, chicken fried steak with all that ketchup, sir? And Joe's like, this is a dollop. I mean, it was half a bottle It was on a there. dollop. Yeah, that's not a dollop. Couldn't have been a half a bottle. They brought it to me in a little steel thing. A little steel thing. You know what I'm talking about, how they, a they, cup. they didn't bring me it out a bottle. It was a cup of ketchup. It was a little container. Tin. Container. Yeah, but it wasn't a cup. It so was, was like it a... steel or was it tin? You have no idea. Well, I, I think it was steel. I don't think it was steel. I think it was steel. I, I doubt it was steel. I'm gonna it, get one. It, it was it was kitchenware. It was steel. 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 I doubt it. Are you gonna stainless steal it, steel? You stainless see? steel. Yes. Which is not steel at all. It's not? No. It's stainless. <laughs> but not steel. But it's steel. Are you gonna steal it though? I might. Where's Vanessa? <laughs> well, that's asking. That that's looking for a gift. Oh, you want me to go get one? Well, I don't know where they keep them. Well, I'm, Greg Shelton's quickly getting up. He'll go find one <laughs> for you. If John Machota from the Athletic will join us in about twenty minutes. Talk some Cowboys. We'll get you caught up on the tournament going on. A little Spurs as well as we continue here on the Blitz live out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location here on ninety four one San Antonio Sports Star. You see that thunderstorm we had last night? There was hail at my house. Uh, so they're coming, right? It is springtime. Those storms are coming. It's it's going to happen more and more often. You want to make sure your roof is okay and can withstand anything that Mother Nature has to throw at it. And by the way, if you got some bad hail last night, you want to make sure to check that roof out to make sure it wasn't damaged. The best company to call is Stevens Roofing because really there's only one name in roofing that stands high above the rest. That is Stevens Roofing. You know, quality roof overhead by Stevens Roofing means comfort. It means confidence. It certainly means peace of mind, protection for all of those things that you love. When you're in the market for repairs, a replacement roof, an upgrade, or you just want to make sure your roof is okay, call Stevens Roofing. They are the experienced team that brings local roots, value, and a vast knowledge of their craft to every job. Look, call Stevens Roofing. Make sure that roof is okay. You can't be too sure. You want to make sure that roof is good. 210-785-0994. You can also get them online at stevensroofing.net. Give them a call. 210-785-0994. Taking you home with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floorsville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. Do you want the most money for your used car and a hassle-free process? Give me the VIN. We'll beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy, you can do it in your underwear. Have you gotten your hands on Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB yet? Southern Recipe Small Batch offers big, bold flavors like hot honey, spicy dill, and sea salt and cracked black pepper. Bonus, you're going to love the low-carb, high-protein crunch. Turn snack time from ordinary to extraordinary with flavorful pork rinds. Pick up your favorite flavors of Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds at HEB today. Enjoy all your favorite sports like never before at BetMGM. Sign up using code CUSTOS, K-O-S-T-O-S, and receive up to $1,500 back in bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. When you register with BetMGM, you'll get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, and the best daily promotions in the business. And with BetMGM at your fingertips, every play and every game matter more than ever. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to gamble responsibly. See BetMGM.com for terms. This U.S. promotional offer not available in D.C., Mississippi, North Carolina, New York, Nevada, Ontario, or Puerto Rico. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER in the U.S. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY for New York. Call 1-800-NEXT-IN-ARIZONA. For Massachusetts, 1-800-327-5050. For Iowa, 1-800-BETS-OFF. For Puerto Rico, 
1-800-981-0023. For West Virginia, visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. First bet offer for new customers only, subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days in partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. Jason Minnick's here from the Blitz. You know, with the tournament here, the college basketball pick em. It is the easiest way to get in on the action and a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. If you've made your bracket, it's probably already kind of ugly. Well, there's another way to keep playing with your bracket already busted. It's the Pick'em Game at Underdog Fantasy, where you pick between two and five players to build your Pick'em entry, and all you have to do is select higher or lower on all different kinds of stats in this week's tournament games for a chance to win big, up to 100 times your money in a single night. Endless projections to choose from. Create your own experience. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up with my promo code STAR and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, you'll get a mystery special pick to use in your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com dog parents are loving dr marty's nature's blend premium dog food the way she acts and the way she moves it's just so much better and she actually she's like a puppy again it's unbelievable dr marty's nature's blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives so it's naturally shelf stable with no mess freezer or fridge required plus it's full of premium turkey beef salmon and meat your dog will love we started with nature's blend she's happy she sleeps well she's energetic i am just delighted with this product when given the choice nature's blend and amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food 29 out of 30 dogs chose nature's blend first i am so confident your dog will love it your order is backed with a 90-day guarantee save up to 54 percent off nature's blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats go to drmartypetscom slash good or text good to 511 511 text good to 511 511 all pets are unique your pets results can and will vary message and data rates may apply studies available upon request getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Listen to 941 San Antonio Sports Star on your Amazon or Google smart speaker and just say, Alexa, play 941 San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Good news, golf fans. 15 time major champion and five time Masters champion, Tiger Woods. He's officially registered for the 2024 Masters Tournament. That is good news. Head coach Mike McCarthy at the Dallas Cowboys on the road in Michigan today, checking out the prospects. He has already been to Alabama and Notre Dame. And the NCAA Tournament continues. The Aggies play on ESPN 1250, beginning at 515. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle on Jason Minutes live out of Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location on this Friday. Aggies play in about an hour, less than an hour, 550 tip. They'll have it on here. Spurs play tonight. Houston Cougars played it yeah, out. Yeah. You need a place with multiple TVs and scenic views. Twin Peaks has you covered. I guess that's really all you need, but we could throw in the fact that they've got ice cold beer and good food. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah, there's all of that. Yes. So, I mean, that's a like hit the in some ways. I thought you were going to make an uncovered it joke, uh, but whatever. <laughs> 
James Pledger and his trench coat on his way out here as well. <laughs> He'd left the trench coat at home, didn't he? I, yeah, I mean, he had it at work. We're, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Um, We've got the great Edwin Hafner pushing the buttons and uh, and producing this show. Edwin's had a hell of a day. I he has, man, working the marathon time. Edwin, I mean, absolutely. He, he has had a hell of a day. Uh, I, I saw something earlier today that I haven't seen in a long time. What's that? Uh, I, well, I guess Edwin was probably leaving to go get somebody to eat. Leaving, ah. he, was, he, was, <laughs> he was going somewhere, and he was having a hard time getting out of the parking spot. Um, it, it, again, he was parked at the station. Edwin, I hate I, – I'm so sorry I'm throwing you under the bus, man. But um, Edwin might need new tires. Uh, he, he was parked – in our parking lot, there's a – a spot right next to a curb, right? <laughs> and he was kind of close to the curb. Now, granted, there was zero people parked directly behind him because it's Friday. It's like a holiday at the office. It, it, it is. So yeah. literally, Edwin could have just put his truck in reverse and just gone straight back as far as he needed to go, right? And there was no cars next to him. There were like three open spots before the next one. So here he is. Yeah, just in the in the in, in, and he tried to back up and he hit the curb. And, and then I see him, he pulls forward, then he backs up again, he hits the curb again, oh. trying to turn his wheels. Then he pulls forward, hits the forward curb, and, and now he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, he could have just backed a little bit because there was nobody there, just cranked those wheels to the left and just you know, came out of the parking lot that way. But you hit the curb, Edwin, like five times trying to back your truck up, when all you had to do was just keep the wheel straight and just, just hit reverse and just back all the way out and then turn. It was the damnedest thing, and, and all I could think of was when Erica got her driver's license, and she obviously parked on the street, you know, and then I realized, why are you going through tires so fast? Because she would know she was close enough to the curb when she had hit it, right? So we had to teach her and reteach her how to park. That's right? what happens. And, That's what happens. And, and, and I see, like, my neighbor kid, uh, my neighbor's kid, Ava, she's learning how to drive. She's going to go through a bunch of tires in the very near future. <laughs> and, and, and all I could think of is Edwin has been driving for damn near 10 years. Uh-oh, and, pledging his, his trench coat, and, and, and he could barely get out of a parking spot today with nobody around him. Well, Edwin, how's your truck? It could be better. No, it's actually doing good. It's okay. You didn't. You didn't uh, ruin anything. Scratch up a, a tire or a fender or anything. No, I. Uh, I just close. I just parked too close to the curb when I got in at four a.m. this morning. Oh uh, well, and, and that, and that, that explains it. Well, but the the funniest damn thing is, uh, you know, for whatever reason, Pledger and I were standing in the parking lot, and I say that because as I was leaving, Pledge followed me out to the car to continue a conversation that didn't need to continue, but uh -huh. you know how, how Pledge does. And so we're watching Edwin do this, which probably made him a little bit nervous. But at one point, Edwin gets out of his truck and he walks around to see the curb uh -huh. as if it was going to leave. Nope. The curb is still there. Well, maybe it was. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I'm trying to help you, Edwin. Edwin, uh, there, there's no way of helping that. Well, it's all right. I got Edwin, nothing to say. I, I mean, honestly, and I'm not exaggerating at all, am I? No, you're not. Unfortunately, <laughs> that was not one of your finer moments. Well, you know, if you had to show up for work at 4 a.m., you'd probably be hitting curves, too. Well, at what point did you think I could just go straight back and not even turn the wheel? I didn't think. All right. All right. All right. Now, I will give him credit. As difficult as he was trying to do this, he eventually did get out of that spot the way he was intending to all along. I mean, but I've never seen somebody. It was like he was trying to parallel park, you know, in Manhattan, the way he was trying to get out of this spot. But there's nobody around him. Okay, Edwin, I'm going to bail you out here. All transparency. All right. Last night at Twin Peaks Day Zavala, I backed in. Great parking spot right there. Curb on my right. Another car on my left. Instead of pulling straight out, I just... Had a brain fart. The curb's there on my right, so I'm just trying. I've got to take a right. I just turn and but right so over you the went curb. Four wheeling in your car, right over the curb. Damage your car? No. All right. So it happens all of us, Edwin. So you're all right, buddy. And I guarantee you, Minix has driven over many curb himself. Oh, absolutely. But 
it, it, again, the, the difference here is there was no nobody around him. It, it was it was unnecessary. It was, well, I had it, a lot of things around me. Well, so. and you had people in your car. I had people in my car. You. And I psh, hadn't had anything to drink. Nothing. 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 That's even worse. Nobody's counting there, Shelton. Who's this guy? Where? <laughs> what? What? When? The guy with the Texas hat on. Oh, Shelton? He's trying to chime in over here. He's keeping you honest. Yeah. <laughs> keeping you honest. Oh, man. John Mashota will keep us honest on our Cowboys Always assessment. Always does. John Mashota from The Athletic joins us next here on The Blitz, live out at Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. You know, if you're going to do some grilling this weekend, make sure you get into Tri-County Meat Market. They're two great locations because you know that great meal starts with great meat. Ryan Eagle's got guests in town. He's telling me he's going over there tomorrow morning to get a prime rib. Yep. You know, because he knows he's got he's got to show off and provide a great meal for some friends. And if you're going to do it up, you got to do it up right. And there's no better place to go get that meat than at Tri-County Meat Market. If you're doing a prime rib, maybe a tomahawk steak, you want to do some beef ribs this weekend, maybe some nice baby backs. Tri-County has what you need with the quality you expect. You can always take advantage of their pick five for 25, and Tri-County always offers a 10% discount for military and first responders. Two great locations on Ralph Fair Road and on Hebner or online at tricountymeat.com. Time is running out. We're almost sold out. Are you playing at the Golf Club of Texas? Get on it with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Ensira Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join. Or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Do you have unfiled tax returns or being threatened by the IRS that your wages are about to be garnished or bank accounts are going to be levied? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has professionals ready to fight for you. Their enrolled agents, tax attorneys, and CPAs have saved millions of dollars for taxpayers just like you. They won't just resolve your tax problems. They'll most importantly protect your wages, bank accounts, and all your assets from being taken by the IRS. Call for a free consultation. 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. Or go to alliestaxrelief.com. Hi, my name name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or alawyerforus.com. San Antonians love a good party. And the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. Guys, your testosterone level impacts your energy, drive, weight, hair loss, and even ED. Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your T-level for free. For your free T-level check, exam, and consultation, call 210-615-7777 or visit revivemenshealth.com. Get ready to swing into the official ultimate after-party experience at 90 Proof Bar and Grill. We're turning...
tournament with an epic celebration. See you at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, corner of Lucky Ranch and Highway 90, this coming Monday, March 25th. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Somebody's knocking the door. I walk over and there's Toby Keith. I'm like, hey, Toby Keith. He's like, hey, is uh, Rick James in here? I'm like, yeah. He does like to smoke the weed. Yes, he does. Yes. We are having some celebrities, Rick James and Dan Haggerty and Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams. Wow. It's, it's, Hello, Grizzly Adams. Sock. <laughs> <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show. Every Saturday morning. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show. Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon. Right here on San Antonio Sports Star. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. This is Andrew Monaco, and you're listening to the home of the Aggies, 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. Aggies playing Nebraska. You can listen to that over on ESPN AM at 1250. Andrew Monaco in the pregame show getting underway as we speak. Of course, that game will tip off just before 6 o'clock. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jason Menix live at a Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Come hang out with us, watch the games here. Yeah, Spurs play tonight as well, a winnable game for the Spurs. But you know the conversation about the Cowboys never ends, and, and it's in full swing, all kinds of clickbait-type headlines. Let's talk about it <laughs> with John Mashota from The Athletic, who joins us now on the Buyers Barricades guest line. I, 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 I was going to start with Mike McCarthy at Michigan, but – Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk just posted an article that says Cowboys seem to be willing to let Prescott walk in at 2025. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's fair. Uh, until they get a contract sent down with them, that seems to be their actions. And so uh, I guess that is a possibility. And I, and I think that if that was to happen, that would kind of feed more into Jerry Jones's opinion of that's his all in, that, you know, if they don't perform well and make a deep playoff run. Well, they're all in because they're going to make these changes that head coach and possibly a franchise quarterback. So that would be very interesting. And until he gets a new contract from the Cowboys, that'll be a storyline uh, next week, next month, uh, training camp, uh, and then all throughout the season. You know, John, I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, I would have never thought the Cowboys would uh, be willing to let Dak walk. I thought an, an extension would be announced or close or something like this. I, it, it seems to me, and, and it seems like a strange offseason, but you tell me, if I want Dak Prescott as my quarterback, wouldn't you have gotten in a room at some point in time after the season and made this happen so you'd have some money or at least know what you have to spend in the free agent market? Oh, for sure. And, and I think that every general manager in the NFL – that isn't a team owner w- would want to do that as well. But I think that there is a part of Jerry Jones being the owner and general manager that he's willing to risk uh, the potential of losing Dak, because I bet you, he doesn't think that he would lose Dak. I think that he thinks that because it's the Dallas Cowboys, that even if it gets to, let's say next year and they go into free agency and he can sign with whatever team. Uh, I think that Jerry believes that if he really wants Dak, that, that he'll make him the offer that will make Dak stay with the Cowboys that worked with Amari Cooper. Uh, he actually was offered more money by the Washington commanders than he ended up resigning with the Cowboys. And I'm not saying that that's a great business practice, but I do believe that to a certain extent, Jerry 
he does. There's a part of him that I think would like to see everybody kind of feel the pressure of back against the wall. We don't know what this team's going to look like a year from now. Uh, so uh, it's all about this year. But then the other side of that is, okay, well, if it is that, then why aren't you maybe making some moves uh, that would give Dak and this current team even more of a chance to have success uh, in the postseason next year? Well, well, that's, you know, I guess part of trying to figure out what the Cowboys are doing is there's a couple of conflicting messages, if you will. Like, all right, yeah, I mean, Dak, I mean, it's all in this year. Uh, well, let's get some guys in. The fact that, you know, we're about two weeks in it to the um, – uh, free agency period in, in uh, you know, linebacker Eric Kendricks is the only guy that wasn't on the roster last year that's been added. We've had a bunch of departures. At some point, are you going to run out our, how, of available guys? When do you think we'll start seeing some of those guys get signed? I know Steven said we're going to wait for some guys to get released. I got to believe there's more of a plan than we're going to hope somebody gets fired from their job and we're just going to hire them because they're going to be affordable. Yeah, I, I would hope so. I hope it's more than the, uh, well, well, we found Cavante Turpin and, and, and we've been able to have some success in some of these other leagues. We'll be able to find another guy out of the XFL, USFL uh, combo thing. Like, I don't know if that's a great practice. You know, I know it worked out for a couple of guys. You found your kicker that way and your kick returner. That's not a great plan. But to answer your question, I thought there would be an, another signing, at least one or two this week of guys that, you know, aren't the biggest in names, but they fill roster spots. And that hasn't happened. So maybe it's next week. I mean, this week a year ago was the week when they did the trade for uh, Stefan Gilmore and they did the trade for Brandon Cooks. And we haven't seen moves like that either out of them. So maybe maybe that's next week. But, you know, I wrote an article this week um, on the athletics website, like looking over me and Saad Youssef uh, broke down. He took the offense. I took the defense and broke down where the roster is at right now. And looking at offense and defense, I came up with at least nine spots that need to be filled on that 53. Now, not all of them are starters, but nine spots between now and and week one that they don't have on that roster that they need to fill. And, yeah, you can fill four or five, maybe six of them through the draft, maybe one through an undrafted rookie free agent that you really like that you signed. But that still leaves at least two, three, four other spots that you need to add with probably veteran players. And uh, I'm interested to see how they go about attacking that because uh, I just – for as stingy as they look like they're being right now, I've never seen them this way going into the draft where they're so forced to draft for certain positions. Usually they'll at least fill some of those spots with a body. Right now, I mean, they go into the draft with a good four or five holes. You know, John, I'm probably asking a question that uh, you can't answer. Nobody can because it's, it's head scratching. But when you look at the cat, you've been covering this team for a while. I, I don't, I can't remember, and please help me if I'm wrong, a an offseason that comes anywhere close to this offseason with the way the Cowboys are approaching it or not approaching it. It just seems bizarre to me for a team that's got a quarterback that uh, obviously was second in the MVP voting. You've got a quality wide receiver. You've got a hell of a defensive player in Micah Parsons that it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. It baffles me. I'm, I'm a big believer in actions speak louder than words and the actions of this off season up to this point that can obviously change. And, you know, they can maybe make a move here or there, but as of right now, the actions look like Jerry Jones was so angered with the way that the season ended uh, to the Packers. Uh, so obviously it was a shock to everybody that followed that team because, not saying that they should have won the Super Bowl, but that team was way better than the team that you saw play the Packers, especially with how well they played at home the last two seasons. So the actions look like Jerry was so angered by that that he's like, oh, now you expect me to give everybody these big contracts too? Now I want to see another year out of everybody. And that's one of those things where you, you really hope that feelings don't get involved there. But again, that's the actions. And so, you know, to answer your question, yeah, this offseason up to this point has been different than any of the others. The way the season ended, has been different than any at any others uh, since I started covering the team in 2011. And I'd also say that uh, it, this is the angriest that I've seen the fan base since I've covered the team. Very true. John Machota from The Athletic joining us here on uh, The Blitz. And, and John, it, it's hard not to grade and judge the Cowboys two weeks into free agency because, you know, it's still first quarter. But 
fans that are so negative by their inactivity, knowing how Jerry chases headlines, I know that he can't enjoy the talk about his team the way it's been right now. Does It, it surprises me to a, to a degree. Does it surprise you that he hasn't done something? Kind of like a couple years ago, we've talked about this before, rolling out Jalen Smith with a big contract, doing something just to look like they are working. I know they're working, but it doesn't appear that they are. Yeah, it makes me wonder if that, you know, because it wasn't just Jalen, it was Jalen and Leo Collins, and because those didn't work out, heck, the Zeke deal didn't work out, and those were all the ones that were going on at that time. It makes me feel like maybe because he that they were so badly burned by those that he won't do something like that right now. Like, you know, for example, get a deal done with somebody else on their team. Not that there's really a, another glaring signing that needs to happen outside of Dak. CD and Micah, I guess you could give an extension to Zach Martin, but I don't see them doing that. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he has, you know, buyer's remorse from when that happened last time. You know, obviously having the recently part ways with Gallup, that deal didn't work out either. And maybe, maybe that Jerry Jones thinks the best way to go about this is to let this whole season just play out and uh, not make any major moves. And I find that fascinating because. Like I said, I didn't think that they should have lost to the Packers, but I don't know that that was maybe a Super Bowl winning type team. And by the looks of everything right now, there's no way that this team next this 2024 team is going to be as good as last season's team was. So how would you expect them to go any further? John, when you look at uh, what, what Mike McCarthy is doing, and I can't remember if he was this active last year at these pro days, but going to Alabama, Notre Dame, Michigan today, uh, do you think it, 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 it? I mean, it almost seems to me like maybe he's taking this into his own hands a little bit, saying, "I'm going to get the guys in the draft that I want." Being this is perhaps my last year with the Cowboys. Yeah, I don't know if it's that. I think you know. I mean, he he usually goes to a few pro days uh, every year, and uh, obviously Notre Dame, Alabama, and Michigan have a lot of guys in this draft class. They're obviously big school guys, um, which. All three of those programs, it wouldn't surprise you, obviously, if if Mike McCarthy was on board with them dra- drafting anybody from any of those schools. Um, but I, I don't think Mike McCarthy will be a take-it-in-my-own-hands type guy with this draft process. I think he has a lot of trust in Will McClay. He comes from a Packers organization where he didn't have a huge say in the draft process. And I know that this could be his final year as head coach, but um, I, I, don't, I just don't get that sense from the way – Mike McCarthy is as a coach that all of a sudden he'd be like, okay, everybody step out of the way. I'm going to handle this from here. I mean, he's going to have a say in the draft process. I just don't know that it's going to be any more than he's had in previous seasons. I I, I know this isn't fair, but should we be concerned about anybody from the university of Michigan, seeing how (laughs) well Wolverines have been that have been drafted recently by the Dallas Cowboys. So they'd be on like the no draft list. (laughs) If you, if you did a Twitter poll, it would it would be a good ninety nine percent would say yes that they should be you shouldn't take anybody from Michigan uh, any Cowboys fans uh, or most Cowboys fans would say that I'm not of that belief um, they obviously just won the national championship they have I think eighteen guys invited to the combine they'll most likely have the most players drafted in this draft class so I think that would be foolish to do that but I also get where fans are coming from with how little they got from Mozzie Smith and Luke Schoonmaker and Taco Charlton. Uh, so, I mean, I guess you got Jordan Lewis has been that was for a third round pick. They've gotten a good return on that investment. Um, but those other three, I, I get where fans are coming from, but I'll tell you this, the, the Cowboys front office doesn't operate that way. They won't, they won't write anybody off because of, uh, of because of the university that they're going to judge these players individually. So obviously uh, offensive line running back have got to be a priority. Do you see that? I've seen a lot of mock drafts, including yours, John, that you put out on the athletic uh, offensive line could be one and two. Do you see that perhaps happening? Yeah, it's definitely possible. Um, I think it's more likely that they would, I, I, I will be surprised at, at the way the roster sits right now. I'd be surprised if that first round pick is in an offensive lineman. I thought that was a good chance, uh, you know, with two or three months left in the season, I felt like the yeah, offensive line is probably the leader in the clubhouse. But I, at that time, I would have said, you know, back in October, November, I would have said, oh, yeah, like 65, 70 percent chance. Now I'm at like 95 percent chance that it's offensive lineman. And I think with the center position, I think they feel confident that they can find a starting caliber center maybe in the third round, 
And then the other part will be thrown like Frederick. I mean, I'm sorry, not Frederick, like, like the Adish, but they don't have a fourth round pick because of the Trey Lance deal. And so this is why it makes me wonder, and it lines up perfectly for this to happen, to be like that Travis Frederick draft in 2013, where they had a pick at 18, but instead of taking drafting there, they added a third round pick by moving back to 31, took Travis Frederick at 31, who's still a first round pick. So you still had the fifth year option, took Terrence, Terrence Williams in the third round. I could see them doing this this year at 24. If all of those offensive tackles come off the board before them, I believe there's about six and they could go somewhere between eight and 23. And if that was to happen, I would not be surprised if they traded back a few spots to try and get a third or fourth round pick to make up for not having one in this class. Um, And so if that's the case, I still think offensive line would be the pick, but yeah, I'd be very surprised if the first round pick is an offensive lineman second or third round. I'm really thinking they're going to have to grab a running back there. Yeah, definitely. John Machota from The Athletic. Yeah, the last several years, you would give this front office, Will McClay, Stephen and Jerry, uh, high grades for roster construction and drafting. Last year's draft, though, maybe not so much. Uh, very little impact uh, out of their first couple of picks in really the entire draft class. How much trust do you have in uh, this front office, in Will McClay and that scouting department, with the picks that they do have, and maybe they add a couple with, with the trade, a couple additional picks or at least one more, but to where they're hitting on 60, 70% of what they're going to pick coming up in about a month. I have a lot of confidence in Will McClay when it comes to the draft. I think he's one of the best in the business. Um, my own, and, and I think that draft last year is just, that's more about the draft than it is the Dallas Cowboys. It just, nobody swings and, and just, you know, bats a thousand. Everyone has up and down drafts. Even the best teams and, and, and the best front offices have some drafts that, that come up uh, without a, a lot of big investments. The Cowboys just relied on it so much. So, so many people are used to them getting, you know, a couple of impact, immediate impact players. So I have a ton of confidence in Will McClay. Where I have a little apprehension is that it's setting up right now for them to draft for need. And when they draft for need, particularly in the early rounds, it has not been good return on the investment. And so that part makes you kind of sit there and be a little skeptical and make you uh, kind of sit there and be glass half empty um, that you're like, well, is this going to be the year where they finally draft for all their needs and it fill all of them and then everything's perfect? Like that's not just even a Cowboys thing. I would think most teams are in trouble if they have to do that. John, John i tell you what, John, it's uh, usually an upbeat guy. <laughs> Talking Cowboys today, you, you, you don't seem so upbeat. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where, um, you know, I'm not a fan of the Cowboys, but um, I mean, I've I've dedicated. I wouldn't say that, I, I wouldn't say that I put in as many hours as, let's say, like the coaches and the front office, but and, and probably not the players either. But like, I mean, for the last, you know, 13 years of my life, like, that's been all really dedicated to, to covering the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, I just never envisioned them having off seasons like this. You're the Dallas Cowboys. You're a big name brand. Um, you need to be uh, always a player in free agency and trade. Uh, you need to be exhausting every resource. And it just, the longer I cover this team, the more I question if they do uh, exhaust every re- resource at all times. Well, that and he's uh, trying to have a coherent conversation with us while he's watching Yale uh, really (laughs) hang with Auburn right now, which has got to be extremely distracting. I I know you're a big college basketball uh, guy, uh, 68-64 right now, Auburn hanging on. I believe Yale scored 64 points. Exactly. How's your brackets looking, John? Uh, Not great. I had uh, Kentucky making it all the way to the national championship game, so... (laughs) But uh, but I grew up I grew up probably a 20 minute drive from Oakland uh, University, so that was kind of cool to see that because their coach Greg Campy has been there forever. I've covered a bunch of their games, so I was really happy happy for them, obviously. But I don't really I mean I'm such a college basketball fan. Like right now I I switched over. I got not trying to plug anything here, but I got YouTube TV recently, and they give you that option where you can have like four games going at one time. So. I only got two on right now because that's all that's going on, but I just, it's great for the tournament. And so, well, it is. I don't even or, care about the I just or, the or hang out at the Twin Peaks where they have all the games on yeah, and you right. don't have to worry about a remote <laughs> control. Uh, it's perfect. John Machota from The Athletic. Always appreciate the knowledge, insight. Get back to the game. It's going to be a wild finish between 
Auburn and Yale. Didn't think I would say that today. Uh, make sure you follow John on Twitter, at John Mishota. Subscribe to The Athletic. Have a great weekend, man, watching basketball. I will, guys. You do the same. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. John Mishota on the Buyers Barricades guest line, where they provide traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond. We'll keep you updated on uh, the uh, games coming down the stretch, and really it's Auburn and Yale in a nail-biter right now. Colorado's pulled away from Florida. We get a Friday news dump from Major League Baseball. They're going to investigate Shohei Otani. They announce that at 5 o'clock on a Friday. Yes, there will be a full investigation, plus the Spurs with a winnable game tonight. We'll get you ready here live from Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location, the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, if you haven't been out to the Golf Club of Texas lately, you have not been out to the Golf Club of Texas. They have made so many improvements to that golf course. It, it's, it's unreal. New sod, all new golf cart paths, all new golf cart paths, not fixing them, replacing them completely. I tell you what, it's not a country club, but it certainly has that country club feel. Open to the public seven days a week. The Golf Club of Texas offers some of the best course conditions in town with the friendliest staff. You got to head out there and play some golf. Take some buddies. Take your family out there. And if your family doesn't play golf, that's okay. There's a great restaurant out there called the Ten Cup. You can go out there. It is the best sit-down restaurant in that part of San Antonio. And guess what? It's not going to break the bank to take the family out to eat. Look, you can take them out there. Even if it gets dark, you can practice your golf game. They've got a lighted driving range. It's open till 10 o'clock every night. And your family can hang out there and have a good meal and just hang out. Have a great time. It is a great place to go. Head on out to the Golf Club of Texas. You know where it is. It's right there at Briggs Ranch Road off Highway 90. Go out there for dinner, around with your buddies, your next tournament. Just go check them out. It is worth it, I promise you. Best rates are always online at golfcluboftexas.com. That's golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in-store or online at Ansira.com. In Bear County, one in three people have low access to healthy food since they live one mile or more from a grocery store. The City of San Antonio Healthy Corner Stores are helping to change that. With more than 45 member Healthy Corner Store locations, fresh fruits and vegetables are now within reach at your neighborhood store. And all Healthy Corner Stores accept SNAP benefits. For more information, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Remember, visit sanantonio.gov slash healthy corner stores. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Drowning in IRS debt? If you can't afford to pay your IRS debt due to economic hardship, you can now be free of IRS collection efforts by taking advantage of a special IRS tax hardship program. This program allows Americans who owe the IRS to resolve their delinquent tax debt once and for all. In some cases, maybe even reducing what you owe significantly. An open phone line has been established by Community Tax for consumers to call and see if they qualify. Simply dial 800-785-9545. If you owe back taxes to the IRS and cannot afford to pay them back or have years of unfiled tax returns, help is standing by. Just call the Community Tax Helpline today at 800-785-9545 for the help that you need. Don't take on the IRS alone. They can attack 
attack your wages, savings, pension, home, and even your Social Security check. Call 800-785-9545 to see if you qualify. That's 800-785-9545. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world-ranked Gio Cabrera. Trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public. Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dnpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170 inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roof Hub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roof. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 452 5050. That's 1 800 452 5050. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. This is the AA Best Bail Bonds Game Night San Antonio on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. <laughs> Every game night, The Blitz with Jason and Joe get you inside and ready for tonight's game. Players, coaches, insiders, this is the AA Best Bail Bonds Game Night San Antonio. For three, and Wembenyama put him in the friend zone. The pregame show starts now. Yeah, the Spurs have a winnable game tonight. We'll maybe talk about it because Yale and Auburn tied at 70. Now Auburn's up 72-70. Did not expect this one to go down to the wire with a little over two minutes to play. The 13 seed at Yale hanging with Auburn. And I know a lot of you guys have Auburn in at your final four. Yale always gives teams fits, though. And typically, though, it's because they just slow the game down. The fact that Yale has scored 70 points, Jason, that's the story of the tournament. Are you it, kidding it, me? Is it, well, I thought uh, Oakland, or are they going to get replaced if Yale can hang on and win? He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnick. the Blitz here live out of Twin Peaks, the Live Oak location. Uh, Pledge is out here. He is. He, did, he's did going. he bring his trench coat? Yeah, he wore it in. Oh, wow. He is now taking it off. <laughs> and, uh, thankfully, yes. Although he might do the show in a trench coat, and every time, never mind. As long as he uh, has pants on, that's well, all that matters. I, I mean, Greg Shelton requires certain things. Yeah. So I mean, it requires pants. Well, it depends. <laughs> depends. It depends. <laughs> It depends. Yale yes. now leads 73-72. Oh, my. Yale. Oh, my goodness. We could get another major upset here in the tournament. Aggies, their game gets underway in just a couple of minutes. So uh, get over here to watch these games with us here at Twin Peaks. Then you do get the Spurs tonight. Good news for the San Antonio Spurs is they have just updated their injury report. Zach Collins is available tonight. So, uh, there were some questions with that concussion. He's going to be fine. And you look at, at what the Spurs are dealing with. <coughs> with Wemby saying, 
that he does not want to be a part of the team that lost the most in franchise history. He does not want to be a part of the team, the Spurs team that has record suckage. This is a game that they have to go win. This is a winnable game for the Spurs. Can they go get a W tonight? Well, that's the story of every game, right? I mean, that's the question we have to ask. I remember back in my day, Jason, that, you know, you could say, this is a cupcake tonight for the Spurs. <laughs> no problem. They're going to win this game easily. You can't do that anymore, and that's unfortunate. I can't wait to get back to those days. But, look, as bad as Memphis is, the Spurs, they're just as bad, and that's just the truth. So, um, which <laughs> – it's hard to say this. This is obvious as hell, but whoever just doesn't suck as much as the other is going to win this game tonight. Well, I mean, and, and again, I think for so many of us, you know, you look at a 22 win team from a year ago, you bring that back and you had a player of Wemby's caliber. You thought, all right, I, I, I'm guilty of this. So what was I at? 38 and a half wins. I, I took the over. Thought they would be close to 40, maybe a play in team or close to not a deep playoff run. I, I, I mean, but reasonable expectations that they would be far better than the 22 win team a year ago and 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 right now uh getting over 20 seems like man if they do that they've accomplished something which is awful to say but i feel like there's a lot of truth to that especially with with wemby wanting to win now kind of i i i i um uh I, I just say, you know, part of me, uh, don't win now, you know, secure the bottom three. <laughs> don't screw that up. I don't I don't think they're worried about that. I can because uh, I don't think there's enough games now, even if the Spurs went on a win streak to finish the season. I'm still going to win the under. Yeah. Twenty eight and a half. Oh, yeah. So I can start bragging about that now. Yeah, can yeah. I? Yeah. Congrats, Joe. Thank you. You, you. Only guy that picked the under on the Spurs win total. And I'm going to win it going away. You're going away. Going away. I mean, this team in reality, although they've got some winnable games on the schedule, if you could actually say that, but they do because they play a lot of other teams that suck equally. Uh, I, I, I just look at this. This team could end up setting the record for fewest wins in franchise history. Yeah, that's uh, that's sad, and it's it very well could happen. What is the record, by the way? I, is it 20, 21? Uh, well, I think 20? they got to get to 21 wins. All right. Yeah, so. I, I, I am proud of myself well, that I don't actually know it's that answer. 20, right? Because when they drafted Tim Duncan, yeah, they were they only 20 won 20 and 62. That's so right. they got to get okay. to 21. All right. All right. And, and tying that. So that's six count. games, which means they got to win about half of their games moving forward. Yeah. They got two against the Suns coming up. They got two against Suns, but don't they also have Detroit coming up? They do, but and, and they own the Suns. Remember well, those games yeah, way I'm back sure, in November? I'm sure the Suns don't remember that at all. Well, I'm sure they do. They need yeah. payback. Uh huh. They they, they they do. They definitely need payback. Look, it's all about uh, at this point in time, Wimby winning the Rookie of the Year and, and improving, and and then I want to see. I can't wait for the off season. I really can't wait for the off season. See what this team does. Again, I have the only uh, the issue I have with Pop is that we're not going to skip steps because I have no clue what the hell that means. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what steps he's talking about. So it's going to be fun to watch the offseason this year when it comes to the Spurs. It's it's going to be interesting. Now, Major League Baseball opens on Thursday. We're going to be live in Las Vegas at Ooh. Circa Las Vegas Viva. next Thursday and Friday. Viva. And, man, if you see any of the uh, uh, videos and photos coming from the uh, Circa Las Vegas social feeds, holy crap, I can't wait to get out there. Yeah. The question is going to be, is Shohei Otani going to be available for – the Dodgers. Now, up until about 45 minutes ago, a classic Friday news dump move. Major League Baseball's only comments on the gambling scandal involving Otani was they're looking into it. They're aware of the reports. Well, according to Bob Nightingale, the Major League Baseball writer from USA Today, Major League Baseball has announced that they have launched, love that word, launched an investigation into Shohei Otani and this gambling situation. Now, I wonder what that means. Launched an investigation. They have a private eye? Well, I mean, mean, in reality, they do. And I think all pro leagues do have an investigative department when stuff comes up. And and a lot of them, I don't know about Major League Baseball specifically here, but like with the NFL, they're old FBI agents or ex-FBI. I mean, real 
investigators, uh, law enforcement types that do this kind of work. And, and they either work for the leagues directly or they get contracted out. But the fact that it's gone to investigation level at this point does make you wonder if they know enough to where they can't just say we're looking into it and he really didn't know anything about it, he's just caught up, it was all the interpreter, because there is so much, there are so many layers to this story. Like, you could make the argument that Chohei had nothing to do with it, he was just helping a buddy out, paying off his gambling debts and move on, but because his buddy also works for the team and you can't be an employee of the team, you know, if you got a job as a broadcaster, you couldn't bet on baseball. If you work in the clubhouse, if you're selling tickets, you are not allowed to gamble. And it's on signs in every clubhouse. There's rules. And if you bet on baseball, well, if you bet on baseball with a game that your team is involved in, that is a permanent ban. There's no gray area. If you bet on baseball that your team is not involved in, that is a year ban. And there is no gray area. And now you have to wonder, Here's a guy who says he didn't bet on baseball, the interpreter, but he's already changed his story twice. Do you believe him? And if you're that bad of a gambler in debt, don't you bet on baseball where you might be pretty good with some inside knowledge to help get out of that debt? I don't know. I, you know, I, I I still don't know if this guy was in debt and or was Wait. his debt. He, he Well, you think it might have been Shohei's well, debt. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, look, I, I'm not going to buy the fact that Shohei is just a, a complete – goofball where he doesn't realize what's going on here and if he sent the money in to an illegal betting uh place then uh, he needs to be held responsible and i don't know what that entails i would rather somebody independently and i hope that's happening along with major league baseball because look major league baseball they're, they're investigating their their biggest star by far the biggest star in in a long time by far and so I just don't know how even-handed that investigation is going to be. I'd rather see, and I hope that the outside authorities are doing something as well, so we really get to the to the truth behind what happened. Because right now, I don't believe any of them. Well, I, I, I mean, I, 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 you can listen and change your mind on, on your opinion on his involvement. And some of it might be, what do you want to believe? And common sense with the an assumption which is always dangerous and when you're dealing with legal stuff hard for me to believe that his interpreter a guy that he spends a lot of time with is a gambler and you don't gamble right and he's stealing money from uh, you. and he's stealing money from you but the wire transfers the original story was you know he he he, he was helping me pay off a loan now the reporter <laughs> with espn that did the interview with the interpreter after it all came out. See, and that's the thing. He changed the story. When he told his story, I, I, they realized, you know what? You have just exposed Shohei to not only legal prosecution, breaking the law, a federal law, but you've also exposed him to punishment from Major League Baseball. Then the story changed. Now, he says now he lied to uh, the, the reporter. So I don't know if you can believe anything, but I have a hard time believing that your interpreter that you spend a lot of time with is uh, doing all this gambling, and, and you're not. You're just covering up. I don't believe either one of them. Uh, the reporter asked him straight up, apparently. She claims that she called him after he so-called changed his mind and asked him straight out, did you lie to me? And he said yes. So, Well, now because he's got to say that because he's sticking to the story. Well, that's what I'm saying. So my, qu my next question would be, uh, is you lying to me now or are you lying to me then? Uh, wh where do the lies end? Because, look, the cover-up is always worse than the crime. Yep. I mean, it always is, and that's what we're seeing right now. The cover-up is much worse than the crime. This story's not over. I'm glad Major League Baseball at least is saying that they're going to investigate this. I hope there's some other investigations into this as well. And we get to the bottom of it. And, and, and quite honestly, I, I believe it's the FBI that busted the illegal book guy. Yeah. Who had very detailed records, which is why they discovered Shohei Otani's name as a part of this. So if whatever the records they have, because this bookie, and again, I could see a bookie claiming Shohei's a client because that's impressive to your other clients. Right. Whether that's true or not. But we do know based on the FBI's investigation part, that 
the bookie did claim that. Now, he could have been lying too. Yeah. Um, but this story isn't going away. Kind of like Yale. They're not going away. 33.6 to play in this one. Yale leading Auburn 75-74. I'm still baffled at how they got 75 points. Things have changed at Yale. Well, at least today. At least today. Another SEC team on the verge of going down after Greg <laughs> Sankey said these mid-major smaller schools don't belong in the tournament. James Pledge will bring you a final score on this one because they're going to a TV timeout, and there's a cold beer in my very near future. In fact, it's right there on the table. Uh, X innings with Pledge next here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. <laughs> Writing 281 with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floresville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. If you're a man.